Okay. I have to just make sure it's all working now, hopefully. Uh Alright, let's just hope it's not gonna really mess up like last time. I really hope not. Uh, let me go back to non-mod settings. Pop up chat one more time. Dude, I have no idea why it fully disconnected on me when I was doing it. So, yeah. I'm also gonna just, uh, really quick, just call on my phone. Certain times, you need someone so I can see them. my chat right now whenever I have to see something fully. Because I have really up to. Alright, sorry about that, everybody. So, I, um, I crashed last stream. So, now I guess we're gonna have to just redo this because. Freaking hate this, man. I, I I don't know why. Like, I've never I've seen. Man, I really need to really get a new computer soon. Like, I really want to get a new computer this year. Like, I really have to. Now, this time it freaking disconnected everything on my computer, and I had to fully restart, so I couldn't really do nothing. I have no idea what, how that happened. I've seen so many times with the game capture, now this one just fully disconnects now. <sighs> Freaking hate this man, I swear. A new sparkling water has arrived. And not just any sparkling water. It's a hot sparkling water with big So yeah. Uh just back to the controls anyway. Um you can also do a little bit like a dash as well. I think it's like a parry dash as well, hand, I don't know. So I'm just gonna turn this off while I'm at it. Just turn the damn music off. I'm not gonna hear any of this crap. Okay. So, yeah, you can do a dash. You can do, fully, fully do a crouch as well to, to do that. Alright. Let's just uh, get to the castle right now. We're not gonna really explain that much. Let's just keep boring this to go over whatever. I see what I could do over there. Damn. <laughs> Trying to do the lack of this skip, it didn't help me. Spear and strat's not helping me. Oh well. But yeah, you can see what I could do in the stand square. Normally, it speed runs how it works basically is that you would do normally a lack of skip. We have to do two full long jumps, the first one, and then you have to quickly do the second one, I think. I just probably think I wasn't fast enough. I don't know how. I fully did it correctly. I don't know if I did it right. But yeah, you can fully skip Lakitu when you do that, basically. I'm gonna get out of here and close the door right now. I'm gonna do that just to make sure I'm not really trying to. I'm gonna make sure this never happens again. I'm gonna make sure I don't get up on my webcam all the time. Mm -hmm. And there he goes, just right up the corner. Alright, now we can actually... Get into the door now. Like not as much of an issue. Let's grab and don't come back. Yeah, no one cares. Also, take this out as well. Gotta just lure this one. Wait, I didn't hear the full desktop one, I didn't fully know what was going on. Okay. Yeah. Just had to fully put that the music on, I don't know what was happening. Lower this a little bit more. 
so it's not I'm a too loud. Alright, so now we're in the castle. So, do so many things with it, basically. So, a lot of these uh, doors you have to go to is basically the number stars. So, depending on how many stars you need, you'll need to uh, open the door. So, the only one we're going to go to is the one that has no stars in it, and that's that door. So, this one's a one star door. You need star power. And... You know, just go inside the paintings, that's how you have to do it. Also, you got these toad silhouettes here. You got the toad minions over here. Power to open the door, the Bowser sealed there are four rooms and the first floor starting one with the painting Bombo inside it. It's the only room that Bowser has sealed. Eight power stars, open the door with the big star. So yeah, a little bit of instructions on how to do it basically now the power stars work. Alright. We're gonna get on to the door. Hey! Get on the door! We're gonna get on the door right now. So you can see. These paintings over there are in a world. You have to jump in these paintings to go in the world around it. And, uh, you also got these little, like, info tabs. So they tell you what to do, basically, a little bit more about how the property games work. This one tells you about, uh, triple jump, going to the system for long jumping, so you can do that. Wall kick, you have to press B as well, too. You can Wall kick, basically, on any platform like this and just go up with it. You can do a uh, long jump backwards as well. So yeah, you can do a backwards jump. So whatever direction you go to, you have to go to the opposite direction and do a backwards long jump. So this one tells you about exiting the course basically. So whenever you're in a course, um, you can press the exit button by clicking on the plus button, basically. Now remember, it will only work if you're not in the water. If you're in the water, it doesn't work. I don't know why, but it doesn't. Alright, let's just get in the game right now. Let's get this, get this bad boy started. So, big bomb on the summit, and we've got course one, bomb of battlefield. <sighs> So welcome comrades and our viewers. Three signs. I got more signs in this. <laughs> it's like I have to read everything and the game how it works, so yeah. Get the big ol' bombs right over here. Wander around here liable to be plastered by a water bomb. How many bombs left to fight and they always find ways to attack. That has become a big bomb ever since the big bomb got his powers. Can you recover the stuff for us? Cross the bitch and go left. Find a big bomb. Please come back to see me after you retrieve the power store. Mm -hmm. Sure. Task as always. Liking it. Two bridges and watch for falling water bombs. Top of the mountain is very powerful. Don't let them grab you. Mm -hmm. I just got here. Fires. Also, they made uh, Mario sound a lot more different. Like, look at this. It's like, more pitched. Yeah, they made it like, more pitched for some reason. It's not supposed to sound like that. I don't know why, but they did. It's very, very weird. And yeah, normally the boxes you can break within it, so... See what the signs say. So yeah, this will show you just uh, one of the signs will uh, instruct you on how to punch the enemies. Just uh, you know, punch the enemies with the goombas over there. Cover the stars that were still in the castle. I'm not gonna read as much information. It just tells you how the game works. And yeah, you can also throw objects like this one, the box too. 
with the uh, Goombas in it, basically. So, that tells you pretty much how it works. All uh, other ways. Then you got the Bombos, too, so when you're close to it, it basically just runs up to you and blows up. So, it, it does have a timer, it doesn't tell you how long the timer they explode, it just, like, they randomly explode, so it doesn't tell you how long, basically. So, yeah. You just have to run away from them. It's not really too hard thing to really ask for, but just be very, very careful what you're doing. Okay, that was very weird with the camera. Also, uh, every coin that you get, basically, you get one coin. Uh, red coins over here give you two, and then there's also blue coins, by the way. They also give you five. So, a little fun fact of what each uh, coin system, how it works, basically. And if you get a certain number of coins, basically, which is a hundred, um, you get a power star. So, I'm also gonna get that, by the way. And these are the water bombs he was talking about right here. Yeah, just wanna avoid them. You don't really wanna just really tackle them in direction if you want to. So, I'm just gonna just avoid that area. And you got Chain Shop over there, basically just attacks you. It only does is basically lunges at you, it only has one attack, so really nothing much to do there. Um, there's any way to get in. Oh yeah, I'm not reading the signs actually. I'm supposed to be reading the signs, I don't know what I'm doing. Beware of Chain Chomp Extreme Danger, get close until R to move forward for a better look. Power Star will appear in the middle across the bridge. Yeah, scary looking. Good old chain chomps. What can you do with them? Okay, let's just, uh... It's not a sign, I think. I don't think there was a sign in the back. Let me just see what there was. Oh yeah, there's a sign over there and I missed to read it. Gotta go read the signs! Special caps in the red, green, and blue box. Up in the switches and the hidden courses, activate the cap. Is it cap box? I don't remember seeing it. Yeah, cap box. So, these switches over here are the ones you'll find in the course. So the red ones... Uh, I'll explain a little bit of the properties how it works. Red blocks when you hit them, the red cap block will give you a wing power cap to work. The green one will give you a metal cap, and the blue will, uh, will make you invisible. So, yeah, those are, by the way, how they work. So, we'll just show every single one of them. If we'll get to the later walkthroughs and when we find the hidden switches for the cap blocks, how it works. You can tilt forward to move the stick. You can also do it the camera. So, this also talks about the camera controls, basically. You could just read it if you want to. But, you know... <coughs> I'm not going to read the dialogue because I'm not going to do that. So yeah, just a little bit of instructions how to do it. Let me just see if there's... Why is it telling me this error to go backwards? It's like if it goes the wrong way. I mean, hey, you can the arrow. You need the arrow. Alright, there's a cannon, basically. So there's cannons over there at the spawn you see with the pink bombo. Um, that opens up you to a cannon. So when you step inside, it will have a cannon like you saw in the uh, intro. So basically, we'll open up after the next one, I think. Which is what we'll explain here. Alright. Come on, get those assignments a little bit glitchy when I hate. Uh, hold CL to crouch, slide down a slope, or press CL while well in the air to ground pound. So, stop crouch, then you'll do a backward somersault. Oh, I think this was talking about the instructions before. Yeah, to do a ground pound, you just have to be in the air, and then just press uh, the L button, which is the L in this version. Alright. Star, shadowy star. Okay, so those, those shadowy star spawns are for the eight red coins, basically. So... Each uh, stage that you find in this area will have eight red coins every time. 
And if you grab all eight of them, the star will appear. That will be for the missions that we'll go for later on. And just avoid the water bombs a little bit here just to explain. Get the wing cap, you fly. So yeah, the wing cap tells you how to do it, basically. So once we just get the red switch, basically, we will uh, show the wing cap works. Also, a little secret one up right here. Just get all the eight coins in this flower spawn right here, and you'll get a one up. There's also another one, two as well. Another uh, one up over here, by the way. Uh, just in the back of this cage over here, you'll find a one up. And with the switch too. So these switches over here will activate a certain uh, different types of uh, signal properties. So this one right here, we press it, it opens the cage. But there's also different things that also happen to the elements too. Once you uh, press the uh, explanation point switch. Uh, let's check the other side. I don't remember what that other sign was. There was another sign. I don't know where it went. Oh, no. Okay. I didn't miss a sign. I just had to go there one and see. <sighs> Come on. Get that other one. This is a lot of it. The great big bomb ocean. Never surrender my stars for the whole power of the castle to glow. Bowser the Koopa King himself. They call him King Koopa in Japanese, I think. Or Koopa King, whatever. Yeah, Japanese name is like Koopa or something. King Koopa, I think. That's how they pronounce it. Alright. We'll go up here, so... Just, uh, yeah, we'll just go with this area, I suppose. Whoops, that was my fault. Can I even make it back up there? Let's see. There's a trick you can do a little bit here, as far as I know. So you can, like, hold B and then, like, do a Y. So you hold the jump button and then you can do a uh, forward kick like that. You can do an aerial kick like this one. Um, I just avoid it. Just be very careful. I'm gonna just... Alright, let's, let's just go back for a minute. So, this camera is so weird. Like, it's weird to have, like, an inverted camera. Like, here's the thing about the inverted camera, they never made an option for it, they just, like, they just, like, never tell you to it unless you look at the game at it, basically. It's just really weird. You can grab on the edge of the cliff or ledge with your fingertips, hang from it, drop from the edge, tilt the left stick of Mario's back, or press the Zale button, get up to the ledge, tilt it forward, so yeah. Talks to you about ledge collabs are important too, to also reach in high places, so finding a uh, ledge, you just have to make it over here. So, and this is bomb over here. Yeah, this bomb just stands around there and lets you go, I think you go in right in front of it, it just does anything. Oh, come on, I tripped again. Alright. A little trick you can do to make it up here, just hold A and just go along with the ramp too. You can make it to slopes like this one. And I fell out of it because I hit the can. Oh my god, I hit it twice? Dude, what am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. Dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, lose my first stage if I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's like, I, I know I didn't play this game before, I just don't know why. Like, I played this on the... I had this first on the N64, that was a long time ago. And then I... Wait, why is he walking? Why is the bomber walking like that? What the f Okay. I've never seen that. That is just very weird. I've never seen the bomber like that before. Okay, I have the switch. Sure my door is locked. Okay. I don't think it's not locked. And my camera's messed up again. What the frick camera? Dude, why is the camera being like this today? I don't understand why. How do you deal with a crappy camera like this? I'm a tire. 
deal with a crappy camera just reactivate this crap. I never did nothing wrong, this camera is so crappy. Like, I swear. I just get out of life too much, just go with it. Okay. Collect as many coins as possible to refill your power meter. See how many coins you collected each of the 15 enemy worlds. You can also recover touching the spinning heart. The faster you run for the heart, the more power you recover. So yeah. Heart gauge, important to Normally you don't see this often in stages, but if you do see in stages, make sure it's important to grab it, because it does help you uh, recover your health. Okay, let's just get to the end right here. And we can see Big Bomba's up there. So, we can just do a backflip over there, make it. The Big Bomba lure, the blasting matter, all blasting matter, King of Kabooms, the world over. Add to your scale by mountain, but what right do you see foot on this imperial mountain top? You may have eluded my guards, but you'll never escape my grasp. I'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. How do you know my name? What the frick? Scooby, how do they know my name? Pick me up from the back and hurl me into this world turf. I think you cannot. Yeah, that last sentence is a tip. You have to go actually in the back and you can lift them up. So, yeah, just gotta do this three times, and then that's it. Just easy boss. So, so he can also grab you. I think you have to like mash. Um, if he does grab you, you can like mash out of it. I think I don't know what's the button to press it, but I don't know what like what's the way to press it. So. How to mash out of it. It's just like, I don't know if it's like the Y? I don't remember. Like, you could totally like mash out of it. I think you just have to press the jump or something. Yeah, you have to press the jump button actually to uh, mash out of his grab. You have to do it quick though. Alright. So, yeah, there you go. Pretty easy fight. It's only the first fight, so some of the few of them can be a bit, a little bit more, not really technical, but eh. I have to pick up the pace of one taking Bowser by the tail. Careful, that's an important tip, by the way. Grabbing the tail, just remember that one. Here's a star, as I promised Mario. Want to see me again? Select this star from the menu. Are <laughs> you telling me game manual mechanics? How dare you. And there we go. First power star of the game. So yeah, just grab it, and there you go. Alright, we're gonna continue doing this until we hopefully get at least somewhere. So, there we go. Big Bomb of the Sun, of course, one. Cover one of the stolen power stars. Now you can open some of the sealed doors in the castle. Try the princess's room on the second floor. That should not have an S on it, I think. Try the princess's room. I don't think that should have another S in the thing, because it's... Not be like okay, whatever. And room with the painting of one's fortress on floor one. Bowser's troops are still gaining power, so you can't keep up. Where are the troops, by the way? Save as Mario keeps searching for the stars. I guess it's the bosses, I suppose. All right. That's just uh. So yeah, we can uh, we can continue. You can continue collecting uh, power stars, or you can go in the next one, which is a Womp's Fortress over here. You can also take the route for a for a secret little area. You can go up here too. So so if you have enough stars, you can go on the areas like that. So I think we'll do. one, but I don't, I don't know what we're going to do with that one. Racked in the star power, the door slowly opens. Slowly opens as Mario grabs the doorknob. That's pretty much it. I, I don't know why. Press the sign! I know that Bowser is the cause, and I know that you can stop him. The doors in the castle has been sealed by power killed. 
but there are secret paths in the castle paths that Bowser hasn't found. Is in this room and it holds one of the castle secret stars. Find that secret star, it will help you on your quest. Please, Mario, you have to help us. Retrieve all the power stars in the castle and free us from this awful prison. So, yeah, one of these paintings on the right side is a secret area. So, but I'm not gonna go in there yet. So, we're gonna go right now to Swamp's Fortress, which is uh, course number two. We're gonna go in that area now. So, that's going to lead you to another painting, and you continue to get as many worlds as you can, to get as many stars as you can as possible. So, yeah. I'll set Toad over here. He's sending six stars in each course, but you won't find them all in some courses unless you press the cap switches. Stars you found will show on each course's starting screen. Want to see some of the enemies you've already defeated, select the stars you recover from them. So yeah. Well, just a little tip there. Every stage will have six. So if you want to just pause the screen, you can tell how much you can look for for every stage. It also tells you how many secret stars you can get. That's another important tip. I don't know if you can hear that. Oh my gosh. Sometimes you'll bump into the visible walls at the edge of the painting worlds. If you hit a wall while flying, you'll bounce back. What? What about that? Alright. So let's go in the painting, I guess. So, course two, Womp's Fortress, chip off Womp's block. That is what we're gonna do now. It's about to learn technique for sneaking up the enemies. To walk very slowly in order to walk quietly. Take a look around a few distance, but you can we move further. Buzzer will sound. Alright. So this is one of the tips that will help you, basically. So, just walk up very slowly to the piranha plant. And you have to just punch them. So remember, if you move fast, they will wake up. So, just be very, very careful with that. Apparently the piranha plant he says, Why was he in Smash first of all? Why was he in Smash Bros, I swear? Alright, this is another shadowy star, so there it is, an Avery coin. And there should be another one up. No? I don't think it's another one up. I don't remember. It has to be another one up, I think. Ugh, man, I'm gonna have to issue. How many secret one ups is in there? To find that out. Okay, these platforms over there just you have to be very careful. So I'm just gonna long jump across a bit. And you got a green block now. And there's a green block over there, you can see. You got these frogs over here. And I switched. Okay. I was trying to make it over there across, I don't know why I did that. I'm not bothered with it. Why is there a sign here? Path is never here. Easy does it. No one's allowed to top of the mountain. You know what's good for you? You won't make anyone who's sleeping. Move slowly. Tread lightly. You don't really have to do this. You can just, like, dive. You don't really have to go slowly. You can just dive right for the prom plants and then you can just do that. Narrow bridge cross slowly. You can jump for the edge of the cliff and hang on. Climb off the edge if you move slowly. When you want to let go, either press the L or tilt the L stick in the direction of Mario's back. Climb up, tilt the L stick forwardly to scurry. Wait, what? Press. Okay, yeah, it's just another climb up mechanic again, I suppose. Oh, I'll the dash there. Don't have to make it over there. Alright. Uh, why are there two signs over here? I have, like, so many signs to look for. <laughs> this signs maniac is crazy! Climbing's easy. When you jump at trees, poles, or pillars, you grab them automatically. Press B to jump off backwards. Rotate around. Say, so just a little bit of a climbing mechanic for So it doesn't have to be trees, it could just be any objects like this pole over here. So. 
It's also another important fact to look at here. Observation platform. I like how they just put in the capitals. Or to switch to Mario's camera, allows for a smart... Okay, it's just a little bit of the camera angle option. So if you go to the very top of this pole, you'll get a one up here. So go at the very top of this yellow one. And one up over here. There you go. And you just slide around across of it. Just like with any trees or other objects that go forward. And to kill these flop to kill these flops over here. Or kill the wombs, I mean. You basically have to jump on their back and do this. There's a little trick you could do. You have to, uh, you could do a little trick by jumping before they uh, do that, and you can also, uh, do it a little bit more easier, just to do it more faster, so you don't have to go around, basically. I mean, this is a platform. I wanted to go up. Actually, <laughs> why did I try that? Go with the platform, I think. And there we go. See the boss right there? That has a power star in it, so we're gonna have to talk to him. Fill your houses, your castles, or pave your roads, and still walk over us. Do you just say thank you? Why would he know me? Try to pound me with. So yeah. Little trick here. As soon as they jump, just go jump when they're. You have to just jump when they're about to uh, squash you when they go in the ground. So yeah, it's a little trick. You don't have to go around it. And there you go. See? Pretty easy. A little trick you could do right there because it has some iframes. It's a little bit weird. Normally it would only work, I think, when you when it uh, pounds you, basically. When it fully pounds you. I won't gravel, gravel. Here you win. Take this with you. Thanks for that, sir. Alright, there we go. Second power star. So, we can continue as much as we like, and, uh, yeah, that way we can want to. Alright. So, now we got out of the way, we'll go to the one on the secret area. Secret power star area over here, basically, that you can get into. I didn't show probably the entire area. I, I probably should done that. And there we go. Well, I'm Peach's slide, basically. So, the Pinsis is secret slide. So, that is one of the secret stars in this area. You can, uh, go around to. Well, bonus here. I think there's a one up here if you go up on top of this ledge, I think. I never really tested it, but let me see if there's a, like, a one up here. Maybe? Must be a one up here? No? No one up? I thought there was a one up maybe go up top here. I guess not. Oh well. Also, a little bit of these as well. These uh, blue coin switches, you press them. If you ground pound them, the blue coins will spawn in. Now those are very important to get because you'll need them for the hundred coins. That's also very important to know about. Store him beneath here that Bowser couldn't find. When you slide, tilt before the speed up, pull back to slow down. If you slide really fast, you win the star. Alright. So, we're also gonna do a little quick with the blue switches. So, yeah. They also spawn with the coins, so let's go ahead and grab them. And there's also a timer, by the way. Um. Gonna make sure we get all of them. I don't have to get all the coins over here, just really minding you how to do it. And I missed the one up. I don't know how I missed that. And there we go. Also, a little secret star over there if you get the star, by the way. Normally, um, you would press this block over here, and the if you hit the block, you get a star, basically. Also, there's an extra star that you get in this area for Peach's Circuit Slide. Is that um if you get the timer with 20 seconds. Or lower, you'll get another additional power star. Uh, normally, if it's 20.5, that's completely fine. Whatever's up to you. You can still get the star with that time. And, uh, yeah. There you go. So, I'm gonna get the secret one really quickly, just to make sure. So, we don't have to do that one again. So, yeah, there you go. Secret slide. Done. 
And remember, if you get every uh, 50 coins, basically, for every stage to the end, you get a 1-up every time. So yeah, just a little bit there. You recover free power stars. Now you can open any door of a free star on its own. You can come go, go from the open court system as you please. The enemies ahead are even meaner, so be careful. Yes, meaner is... Oh, guys. Meaner and meaner! How they say it. Alright. Why not? We'll do... I'm gonna go get the other one as well, so that we can, uh... To this low hand, so we'll get the uh, other power star. Gotta just make sure I get up. Come on, get up. Get up. Okay, thank you. Alright. So there's a little trick you could do in the uh, Peach's Slide. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this first try, but if you hit the, this very edge, you'll go backwards, basically. And if you jump at the very backwards, you, uh, you get to the very end. You can, like, skip this entire, like, almost the entire portion of the slide, and I didn't do it first try, so whatever. Normally I would have to go backwards, but I messed it up. Because it's a little bit weird. The camera is a little bit weird when you do it. So you have to angle more your right to, uh, get the start. So, yeah. Just a little bit important fact. This is pretty good to use it for speedruns if you want to test it, but I'm just a little bit rusty today. I never want to speedrun this game. I'm not going to. Don't ask me to speedrun Mario 64. <laughs> Please, no. I'm not going to do that. Alright, so now we got four stars. Now we're going to just uh, go to any area we like. So we're going to go to the next area right now. Just for a little bit of observation. We'll do it for about one star each, and then we'll uh, just, you know, do whatever we can do. Alright. So, we have another tone area to go to. What's this sign say? For using the cap blocks, you really should know to make them solid so you can break them. Press the colored switches, so yeah. That's what I told you about the cap blocks. And just in case. Also, secret one up, up here, if you go at the very... If you climb up to the very edge of this block, you get a one up here. Another little secret over there for one ups in the castle. So yeah, I think there was two outside, and I think there's gonna be a few more once we get to more of it, I suppose. Alright, Toad, what do you have to say? Toad! Talk! Toad, are you blind? Okay. <laughs> It will not let me talk today, I don't know why. You won't find some stars, enemies, or items unless you specific star. So yeah, some specific stars will have to require you to do a certain object, basically. Also, we got another secret star up here. If you go to the right side of this block, you'll earn another secret course, basically. And this one's gonna be an 8 red coin mission, basically, so... Once we grab all your red coins, we get them. And this is also underwater, by the way, so this is an underwater mission you have to do. So, remember how underwater works, basically, every time you uh, stay as long as you can. If you stay in the, uh... If you stay in the, uh, thing as long as you possibly can, you basically lose your power meter every time, like, one square every time, basically. And if you lose all eight, you basically drown, so it's basically a death. So, just have to be really careful. So this secret star is also pretty easy. Just grab eight red coins. So there's gonna be four coins by where the windows are, and then four and all of every quadrant, basically. So yeah, pretty easy power star to get. So there's no, like, there's no 100 coins. Each of the secret stars don't even have a uh, hundred coins in it. Basically, it just all it has is just power stars to get on a certain requirement. What you need to do. So there's no like a hundred stars or any a hundred coins to get a secret star. Nothing like that. It works. And then, yep, there we go. Secret star over there. Um. Alright, let's go to this ship now. Ship's like the next area we have to go to. Course free, Jolly Roger Bay, plunder in the sunken ship. So yeah, have to investigate the mystery of the sunken ship. Also, coins over here too, you don't really need that, but... 
Yeah, normally, uh, if you press the yellow box, it has some certain properties, basically. So, sometimes it will have free coins in it. Sometimes it will have a power-up in it. That you also need to remind yourself within that as well. Attention! Why are you asking me that? Stay under the water for too long, you run out of oxygen. So yeah, the oxygen levels, like I told you before, in the secret, uh, stage area, like I told you. So... So yeah, if you have to, if you, to, to move forward, you basically have, just have to press B. So, normally the jump one. This is another cap out. Yeah, they always, like, re usually do is that repeat the signs like this. It's just, it's just really weird. Alright, so... Let's see what we can do here. So, Sunken Ship would be normal here, I think, so I'm gonna have to just be... Really good block at what I'm doing. Let's see what the other sign says. Climbing's easy when you jump at trees. Okay, so this is another... Another pole area. So yeah, they, the signs in this game just repeat themselves a lot. Alright, so we've got over here. So, stepping on this one gives you also blocks, by the way. They give, uh, blocks as well. And we're not gonna go for the red coins, actually. Because normally that would be the ship, but the ship, as you can see, is sunken over there. And what's blocking the ship from you getting in is there's this eel, by the way, that is also blocking to you, so... So, sometimes you get an attack under there, so you'll have to basically just escape from it. So, I think, like, go where the eel is basically supposed to be, which is right here, and just, like, go up to the water. It's very weird, because you can't really determine once it, uh, comes out. Yeah, it's just really, really weird. Just go back down again, so hopefully the eel should come out here. So, yeah, you have to go on this area. It's a little bit confusing. You have to go on where the eel was actually supposed to go, which is on the uh, webs over here, the uh, the green seaweeds, and uh, yeah, supposed to make it over there, and yeah, the eel will definitely come out. All right, so now we have this over here. You got the star on the end, so you also have chests by the way to open. Um, they I think they do also go in order, so. I don't, I don't think they have to go in order, basically. Or do they? I don't think so, I'll tell you. Touch all the chests, so all four of them, the water will sink. That's all you need to do. The bubbles also give you, uh, oxygen levels. They fully heal your health. And there we go. So all four chests, we do that, basically. It, uh, will lower everything. And I'm gonna quickly go up here, basically, just make sure... Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, I wanted to do a quick swim, but unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to make it. So, yeah. Normally, I didn't have enough time to make it all the way to the end, but, you know, it happens. And I cannot do that for some reason. I don't know why. So, yeah, I do this a little bit faster, just ground pound to make the star a little bit faster. That's what the trick they use in Spear Rinse, is do that. So, there we go. Plunder in the sunken ship. So, all that's done. Oh, done in this area, so now we're gonna go on to the next freeze star area that is gonna be over here. Which is in this area right here. The snowman's cap. Racked into star power, door slowly opens. We don't need that. Okay. Let's just, uh... There's another... Mario, don't, don't do that to me. Mario, what are you doing right now? Stop that. Stop and press... Ugh, why is it telling me this crap again? They always tell you, like, so much information. I don't know why they always do. It's, it's pretty weird. Okay, so course four, Cool Cool Mountain, slip sliding away. So. Snow Mountain Summit, watch for slippery conditions. Please enter the cottage first. So the cottage being the chimney over this one, where a bunch of coins are supposed to be lined up over here. So, yeah. You also got this penguin over here. 
which will be for a later stage. So we're supposed to go in the chimney over here to uh, do this stage. That's what you're going to need. So yeah, if you're sitting on ice, basically, be very careful the ice is moving. Because if you stand over there, you basically slide. So be very careful. Speed up. Okay, so just like the slide before in Peach's Castle, you can basically do the same thing like with Peach's uh, Secret Star Castle. Just go with it. And, uh, you know, do other things. Also, secret area over here, if you go where the coins are, basically, you will uh, go to a secret area. And that's derived with two uh, one-ups. So yeah, little secret area. You can also get another one up here, and I missed that basically. God damn it. I think you can actually make it up here. Let me try it. Um, I think you can. Come on. Come on. Mario! Please. Get me up there. Why don't you be all Jane that? There you go. So yeah. You can also get three one-ups in this area too. So a lot of lot of one-ups in this area. And then once you're done with that, you get to uh, yeah, get the star. So yeah, pretty easy star. To get. And my webcam is freaked up again. Okay, I am not going to do this webcam anymore. Screw this. This webcam has caused me too many problems today. I don't know why, but it's always doing this. Dude, why is this webcam so bad? I have to just enable this. I swear, every time with this camera, I don't know why, but it's always doing this. Ah, I hate this camera. Dude, this camera does not want to, like, work with me today. I don't know why. I can't. Like, I don't know why. This freaking camera today, I swear. It's just so stupid. All right. We're gonna get one more star, so eight stars, remember, we go to the big door. That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go back to Bombo Field and we'll get more stars like this. Maybe it's just the lighting inside, I don't know. And we got Foot Race with Koopa the Quick. Course number two. Thank you, Mario. The big Bombo is nothing but a big dud now, but the battle for the castle has just begun. Other enemies are holding the power of power stars. If you recover more stars, you can open new doors that lead to new worlds. My Bomba buddies are waiting for you. Be sure to talk to them. They'll set up cans for you. So yeah, basically every stage on... Think about every stage. You'll get... Of the 15 courses, you'll get cannons open up. If you'd like to blast off, we don't have mind help yourself. Prepare all the cannons in this course. Bon voyage. That opens up right there. You can use a cannon. You can reach the star by the floating item by using the four cannons. Normally, you can't do that in this thing, but you can't really do that because that would consider cheating. Basically, if you try to cheat in this, the you don't get the star. So even if you're still in the lead with Koopa, you don't get it. So we can't do that. Must be strong and pretty fast. So they are you. Fast enough to beat me, Koopa the Quick. I don't think so, just try me. How about a race to the mountain top? Alright. Yes, go. Alright. So, we're gonna just do a little... Well, not really a speed run trick, but... So... Heal Jane. Oh, quick! Come on. I'm supposed to do this, but I don't know why. It's not letting me. Okay. So... Messed up myself. So yeah, one of these. Oh yeah. By the way, these invisible barriers. 
When normally you find objects like this one, you basically, like, teleport. Okay, can I go clear? There you go. And that's it. That's the end of the course. So, if you stand on this platform, sometimes in certain objects like this are invisible, and you can teleport to the areas beneath it. Sometimes it can help you to a big advantage whenever you need to use them. I don't know if it's like every invisible course in every stage, but it is. Alright, so now we're just gonna wait until the, uh... The quick is gonna go by. That's how it's just supposed to work. And there you go. Easy peasy. You're fast, a human blur! You want a fair and square. Yes, give me the star, sir. And there we go, we got all eight power stars, so you should be able to get eight power stars and open up to where Bowser is going to be now. Recover eight of the power stars, and now you can open the big door with the big star, but Bowser's just ahead. Can you hear the princess calling? She didn't hear none of it! Oh yeah, I didn't get to the dialogue where the big door was, oops. Whatever. This, every time you open a door with no power sword in it, it just basically, basically means, like, it will just have Bowser's effect in it. I should have opened the door with in it, but, oh well, I didn't see what the dialogue says. It should say, like, Princess is calling you in the castle on the other side. I don't know. I'm supposed to say that. Where's the doors for, by the way? just sleeping over there while I'm looking at whatever I'm looking at the tie log I can't even find it Show the dialogue. I don't even know what it says, but whatever. You need a key to open this door. Keys are every time when you do something. I don't know. Also, let's just check the other interiors. Keys, well, that's the basement. So, yeah, you could also go outside, by the way. The outside area. 
There will really be nothing in there. There will be something in there once we get uh, more power stars and continue to do so. Um, oh yeah, they also have these instruction manuals, we have to say. Press Y, we're running fast to do a body slide attack, stand while sliding. Press B or Y. Say a body slide attack. Those are super shy, you can look them in the eyes and fade away, but you can turn your back to reappear. So yeah, something a little bit about this later, by the way. Yeah, body slide. That that's what it's supposed to be like this. That's what a body slide is. There's supposed to be something there. So you can check out this area areas if you like to. Dark. Dark. One, if you jump repeatedly in time and right, you'll jump higher and higher. So this is about the triple jump mechanic. Jump into a solid wall to jump it in. You do a wall kick mechanic. So I also tell you a little bit more information about wall jumping and how it works. And then the other area in the sign over here. Stop, press the yield to crouch the backwards. Okay, so yeah, it just tells you about the backwards long jump, basically. They tell you about this, like, so many times. Just, like, every other instruction manual, how they do it. Alright, so now we can, uh, now go to 8 stars and then we'll fight Bowser now, so, yep, that is what we're gonna do now, here we go, let's begin with Bowser, and yeah, that's what happens when every time you, every time you walk forward, Bowser just appears here. So yeah, Peach just looking innocent, and then just Bowser, just such a bait right here. So yeah, and you also fall in the trap door. Farm tip. Step right in my trap just as I knew you would. I warned you, friend. Watch your step. Friend as he calls me. Alright, so normally with every, uh, every Bowser stage you find, We'll have eight red coins in it, basically. So that is what I'm gonna do. So the first one, just have to make it. I'm gonna make this one cycle. Yep, there we go. Made it one cycle. So yeah, get to make all these uh, red coins over here. So yeah, two you need to require for the block. That's what we're gonna do. And I'm just gonna do a little trick here. Just a little bit trickier to get up here. So yeah, be careful those, those fire things can uh, burn you. Every time you do get burned, uh, you you walk forward with forward speed, basically. So be very careful. You don't want to really mess up. And over there, that's the one up right there. You can get, basically. So yeah, be very, very careful here. Let's just see if there's any uh, secret one up I can actually find in Bowser, but I'm not too sure. But there's a lot of one-ups in Bowser stages that you can actually get. A lot of, lot of one-ups. that has it. Okay. Um. Okay. 
Bowser in the Dark Order. So yeah, a lot of lot of one ups. There's like six actually one up mushrooms that you can get in the Bowser. So let's go over here basically. So there's the first mushroom that we got. Second one is not in this one, but second mushroom. We're gonna go over here and you'll find another one up over this area. So another one up over here, you can find that. Also red coin, also in this area too, with the spike. Red coin in the block over this one, and you can get that one. Oh well on this wall there. Really careful here because I can make one mistake. <laughs> the Goomba actually fell over there, but uh, I don't know why he did that, but oh well. Alright, so yeah. Mushroom over here. Wow, that was very close. Just here, make it back up here. Okay, I did. That was uh, very tricky and very close at the same time, too. So yeah, one up over here. Gotta be very careful with this area, so yeah, be very careful what you're doing. And then you got uh, red coin on that side, so that's where by the uh, by the mushroom block was. Let's just see if I can now make this back up here. Come here, come on. There you go. And you do two full long jumps to, or you don't really need to do. Two full on jumps, but yeah, there you go. So yeah, red coin over this side. And I don't know where the last oh yeah, I missed the red coin over here too. Why did I didn't grab that one? Alright, let me just go grab it. I didn't mean to actually press that far. And there you go, there's your power star. So now we can actually do make it over here we like. Oh pfft. what was I doing? I was trying to look at the signs. Ah! Why did I even bother with the signs looking at this way? I, I don't know why I did that. I thought there were signs here, I guess not. It, it was just really stupid. I don't know why. I bothered with this. Oh wow, that was very close. Alright, let me just do that again. I thought there would be signs there, I guess not. So yeah. If you want to avoid using a forward, forward speed with the walk, if you want to avoid that happening with the fire, you have to just jump constantly so that you won't have to walk up the stage every time. So just be really, really careful what you're doing. Get that one up again, just to make sure I don't lose anything else. There. This. Go with the red coin. One up. Just back and forth we go here. Oh my gosh. Dude, I am like so slick with that. Dude, I'm like a risk taker, man. What the hell is up with me? Get over there when I'm telling you to get over there. Um. Make it over there, and hopefully not die again like last time, because last time was terrible, I swear! I don't know why I did last time! So yeah, one up over this area. There's like, I think more, but I'm not even gonna bother more, so yeah. Wooden Bridge, the Spark Enemy, and portion of Bowser's Sage. Tilting Platform, the end portion of Bowser's Sage. Mm -hmm. 
next to the base of the platforms. So yeah, normally it would just be like four one-ups you can actually get. So yeah, really nothing too bad. Normally if you count with Mario 64 DS, you would have... Mario 64 DS actually has a lot of like, um, power-ups. Have has like a lot of one-up mushrooms, basically. Mario, it's Peach. Beats, be careful. Bowser is so wicked. He will try to burn you with his form of flame breath. Run around behind and grab him tail with a Y button. That's Peach talking, by the way. Swing him around in great circles. Rotate the L stick to go faster and faster. Have to throw Bowser on the bombs in the four corners. Bates is on your hands, yes. So yeah, a little tip on how to grab Bowser's tail. And also, another power star, basically. That's also one of the secret stars you can get in here. Alright, time to fight Bowser for a million of time. And there he is. Everyone's childhood terror! Go ahead, just try to grab me by the tail. You sure about that, man? Alright, so Bowser has a, a few different attacks. He can do his uh, actual fire breath. That can also have a little bit of embers around you. He also has a jump, by the way, that can stun lock you. Um, I think it's just only these two attacks that he has, basically, go around it. So yeah, really, really nothing much. He just has these two attacks. He also does like sometimes a claw swipe, I think. So we're basically just gonna do, grab his tail, and then you're gonna have to just rotate your control stick, and then fire at one of the bombs over there. Just only one time, and that's it. So yeah, there you go, and that's it. Pretty easy. Also, they made a... Also, a little bit about this, the voice dialogue for... Mara is that they actually made him say the word bye bye because this version of Super Mario 64 is the Japanese version, aka the Shindu version. So they ma translated uh, Mario's version to him saying bye bye, basically. So that means no more of the North American version. In the North American version, he would say so long, King Bowser, when you throw him, but they actually just decided to remove it, I, I suppose, because it's supposed to be the Shindu version. So they just, like, remade it and just rechanged the dialogue text. That's what they did. So that was planned, but I still have the power of the stars, and I still have Peach. We got no more stars for me. I'm not finished with you yet, but I'll let you go for now. You'll pay for this later. And he just vanishes, like, no reason. So, yeah. After you beat Bowser, he drops a key right there. And you grab him, basically, for the door that you can progress in later game. So, yeah. That's a little bit of all that information done. So there, there we go. Bowser is now done. Bowser in the dark world, clear. That is what he's actually said before. Alright, so there we go. Now that is all over, now we can go on to the next area that has the key in it. And it's not that key from the door. So yeah, it's extra dialogue. This key doesn't fit, maybe it's for the basement. So yeah, the key in the basement, over there. That's the one we went there earlier, by the way. So... Now we go under the basement. It actually unlocks the door for us. Now we can continue to get more stars, power stars, to progress in the game. That is what we're gonna do, basically. Takes the power of three stars to open this door, you need 21. So yeah, that's what the dialogue is supposed to say for the star door every time. So how much required is basically just open the door. And now we can go on the corridor basement, basically. Just a little bit extra here. Alright, Toad, what do you got to say for me? Toad! Toad! Okay. You recover that many stars? Way to go, Mario. You only have nine! But you have us here in no time. Be careful, though. Bowser is banned. Wrote the book on bad. Took my advice. When you need to recover from injuries, collect yellow coins. So yeah, make sure when you collect anything with coins, hearts, or or even going above the water ground, basically, you uh, recover your health. So that's also very important to look out for. And yeah, so you know, I got some new courses to test out. So we have this one over here. There's also a few uh, extra to just check out as well. 
So yeah, just a little scout around the doors really quickly. And, uh... So normally that area with where there was a, a big shallow of water, basically, in the castle... Now we can just do... We can actually take care of it now. So basically, there is a way now you can prevent that from happening. So all you have to do... Go on top of these two areas over here. And... Yeah, just... Ground pound both of these statues, and there you go. The door, it drains out all the water in that area. And basically, it drains out all the water that was uh, leaking in that area that was in the basement. So now, we can go to the castle on the bottom floor anytime we like. It's agreed that one shall pound the pillars. That is what you need to do, basically. So that sign says it right, too. So ground pound on pillars, and there you go. The water drains all of it completely. So that just leaves a little bit over in this area right here. So yeah, that's where the, all the other ones asides to. Alright, so another one up over here basically. You see these two coins at the very top? So I want you to know something. See those two coins at the top? So if you get all of them, you get a one up. So you just have to triple jump and just hope to be lucky. But you can't really see because you have to just determine. It's pretty hard to determine whatever that they go out to. The range. You don't need to really triple jump. You can just like up jump it and then. Okay, let me just make it. There you go. And there you go. Secret one up right here. You can actually get that. Alright, and also, by the way, another secret power-up is also in here, too. So if you go under this area, you'll find a secret little chorus as well. What do you know? Welcome to the Vanish Cap Switch Course. All the blue blocks you find will become solid once you step on the cap switch. They'll disappear when you put on the Vanish Cap, so you'll be able to elude enemies and walk through many things. Try it out. So yeah, you get invisible platforms, so basically it prones you from taking any damage and can also walk into invisible ob um, objects that have like a gateway, basically, you can walk into them. So that's what you can do. And a little bit of a one-up over here we're gonna get as well. There's like a lot of one-ups in here, so you get a one-up over here. You get like three in this area too, it's crazy. The one-ups here, they give you is so many. And they also have another red coin mission as well, too, which we're also going to, uh, get, basically. So, if you want to get back up here, use the, uh, little trick that I taught you, A and B together, and, yeah, that's how you get up here, again. So, yeah, really nothing much. Also, be careful of these things, these, um, I don't know what they're called, Pulvalos or something like that. They fire out these ember things, so be very careful to avoid them. Also, the shock things, be careful because they can stun you like that, so... Make sure just to avoid that, and, uh, yeah. So anyway, we got a secret course over here, so this is where the Vanish Cap is supposed to be that will help the blue switch. So you need the blue switch for the Vanish Cap. Alright, let's see if... There's normally a trick that you can do. Oh yeah, they slide. Oh yeah, they... careful the platforms, they slide. And I forgot to realize that. Also, they don't... If you fall on the course, you don't lose a life. You can actually... You just, um, basically do is, um... You slide out of this area right there in this water patch. And, yeah. Pretty much that's not all of what you can do. Alright, we're gonna have to do it again now, so... Go out of the... Ow! What the frick? Game! Oh, come on. I didn't get anything from that time, too. Alright, trick time. Trick. So yeah, do this trick constantly. Don't like over rush it. Just be very careful. I don't know where the areas are. Just 
get all four of them. Yeah, four red coins in the side. That's what I missed last time. I, I missed everything from that completely. So I'm gonna have to do this again while I'm at it. So, there we go. And now we don't have to worry about anything. We can just slide down to the corner. Alright. Let's not fail again and just do what we can normally do. Dude, I'm gonna, like, fall again, I swear. Okay, let's just not go over it. Let's just... Very careful. So be very careful of those platforms. Alright, there we go. And now we got all the area coins. So now we have the star. You can also do a trick, by the way. You can just uh, skip at this cage if you're if you're not up to it. So yeah, you don't really need the cage. Also, we're gonna do a little trick here. Ah. <laughs> There's normally a spear trick you could do right here if you uh if you do a long jump when you grab the A-Red coin, and then you basically, you jump over at the area, so you have to do a jump, or, excuse me, you have to do a double jump, then a triple jump off the, off the blue switch, and then, and then dive over the star. That's how speedrunners do that. Step on the Vanish Kip switch, the Vanish Cap makes more disappear, now Vanish Caps will pop up from all the blue blocks in the course. So yeah, just like that. Blue block stage over here. So now you can walk through the cage. And there you go. So also, your secret one up two. Come on! Okay, whatever. So yeah, secret one up two when you get all the coins in this area. But unfortunately, I did not have time to get that. That was, I think, that was all the one ups I showed. Or wasn't that area? Let's see. That was uh, was like one hour or something. That was one of the castle secret stars. So I think that was the vanish. It was called the vanish cap course. What did I do this time? So yeah, there's like four one-ups basically. So giant yellow block, sing Sasha atop the fourth highest platform. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. So the four one-ups basically. And I just happened to miss all of it. Okay, there's more outside I didn't even bother to check. So yeah, you're supposed to do basically just punch all the uh, butterflies. That's what you're supposed to do, I think. Or I think it was that butterfly, I don't remember. So yeah, punch all the butterflies, and there you go, one up over here. So, yep, one up in this area. That's what we're looking for. I think there was also more, I just didn't bother to check. So yeah, one of the butterflies has a uh, one up in it. So you have to do. Um, outside the castle. Punching the butterflies is what I got. Oh yeah, there's actually another one. I think there's like three. There's like a second mushroom. So there's like a second one on mushroom if you get it, I think. I need to find it. Let's see. So I think one of these butterflies will have it. One of these butterflies, I think, will have a uh, another one up mushroom. We can kick it. Like that one. It's not that one. It's not that one. It's not that one. Okay, it's not from that patch. Um. Where is it from this one? Maybe there was another one up, but I just don't even know. 
Whatever. I don't even know if that was this one over there or something. I, I don't know. But I think it was... Maybe I just have the wrong patch. Maybe it's a maybe it was a different patch from the right side. Yeah, I did this with right side. So there's another one you can also get another patch of butterflies. It's at the left side. So yeah, that's what I remembered. Just uh, get to the area. So there should be a butterfly. I think it's this one over here. Punch the butterfly, so I think it's this patch. So, patch here should be a 1-up, I think. Hopefully it's, oh, hopefully it's only a 1-up here. I don't know. Or maybe it's not that one, it's probably the other one I want to say. Maybe one of these patches. This area, by the way, the sign is. Not that sign. Where was it then? Was it this here? Maybe at the. I don't remember. Was it the butterfly patch in this one? I think it was the butterfly patch in that one, but I probably missed it. So yeah, I think it was that one in the middle. That gives you one up as well. that horse in it. Yeah, do I don't even know that? No. Probably not, but... Yeah, I don't think it was that one, to be honest with you. Um... So, yeah. Okay, on the left side of the castle, climb up the trees, that is the third. I'm a tired. Mm. Yeah, so there you go, four one-ups. And there's also extra one-ups when you get to the very edge of the castle, but that's all we're going to do basically in the earth. So, yeah, we're going to work over here. So, also... Every 10 stars, if you get 10 stars in the castle, you get a little extra so whatever here. That's usually one of the first things, but normally it's not actually. The vanish cap is actually one of the first things to get here. Interesting. And if you look up the ceiling, get this. There's another additional course here, with also another secret power star. Welcome to the wing cap course. Step on the red switch at the top of the tower in the center of the rainbow ring. When you trigger the switch, all of the red blocks you'll find will become solid. So try out the wing cap, do a triple jump, and take off and press E to land. So that's how you fly with the wing cap, basically. So stick to go up and forth. So be very careful, though, because this could be really strict. Also, another area to find red coins at. So yeah. You get red coins over here too, so be very strict, because remember, up on the control stick is down, and uh, left on the control stick is right. I'm gonna just have to be very careful, because I messed up, basically. Still recover. There we go. So you have eight red coins, star. That's what you're gonna need. If you do miss them, you have to reset, so it should not be that hard. Oh wait, I might have missed the- <laughs> I might have missed the wing cap, sorry! I missed the wing cap, actually. Uh, let me go back. So yeah, you can still re-enter the stage anytime you like, so... 
Just have to forward up and then look at the sign. Let me try that again. Sorry about that. And I missed the cap! I actually missed the freaking cap, what do you know? Rare to me when that happens. Alright, and there we go. Touch the switch, and there you go. Step in the wing cap switch. Wearing the wing cap, you can soar for the sky. Now wing caps will pop up all the red blocks you find. So yeah, pretty interesting to have you with high places like this one. And then you want to do it, triple jump, and there you go. So you fly like this. So yeah, normally you cannot make it with the cannon, but we're gonna have to just go back here. So if you want to get all the red coins, you have to do it again, but with the cannon itself. And yeah, you can reappear the stage anytime you like. So if you haven't missed the red coins. So it doesn't disappear, you can still, like, look up at the sun. And just go like that. So you can repair every time you like, basically. Alright, enough of that out of the way. So let's go ahead now and we're gonna now go with the new stages that we're gonna look at here today, basically. So now what we can do is go under all the stages... And we'll basically go from here. So yeah, we'll jump from every course from here on forward. So yeah, that star over there will take you to this area. With this black oozy thing. I don't know why, but it's a ripple effect there. I don't know why it's there, but it is. And that will lead you to... Course number six, Swimming Beast in the Cavern. I think this is the right area. I think this should be the right area, I don't know. Oh no, that's not the right area. Oof. I might have missed something, I don't know what happened. Um. Or maybe it was the uh, boo area. Maybe it was the outside area. Yeah, normally someone like this would appear. So if you get a certain number of stars, I think boo shows up at like 15 stars maybe? I don't know. We'll have to check and see. I just don't remember. Alright, let's go back to Bomb and Field and we'll get some more stars. Polar add to. So now we got everything. Now we should be able to do which one of them, by the way, is required to uh, use the power cap for one of the switches for the red block, basically. Alright, let's go on the field here and let's just do our own thing. So shoot in this island in the sky. So you see that little island in there that has a star in it, basically, in that yellow block. So we're gonna use one of the cannons to get up here. And we're gonna have to fire at one of the cannons like this. I think it's at that area. And then you... Okay, that was a little bit too off. That is not what we're supposed to do. So basically, just make it all the way there. But we can just do is, like, we can long jump. Or... You can't long jump to make it over there, but... I really didn't have enough distance, basically. Hi, right, true. Hello. I did not have enough distance to launch out myself all the way in there. Um. All right, let's just try again with the cannon. I'm gonna just make sure we get up there. No, get up there. What was I doing with the cannon there? Just a second ago. Uh, I think lower like this. Yeah, lower like that and just make it over the tree over there. So there you go. Tree all the way up there. And, uh, yeah. That is how you're supposed to get up there. So, yeah. You'll find this block. You'll find the star up in this yellow block here. So. Haven't played this game in a while. <laughs> I know. It's been a while since I played it. I remember the first time I got 64 was, uh, N64. That's where I remember the first time I got it. Then I got the DS version of it, Super Mario 64, then I had the Wii version, and now I got the limited edition of this. So, yeah, it happens. 
Yeah, but this uh, this version is a little bit weird, basically. This version of Mario 64 is a little bit weird. Is that they inverted camera controls in this. They inverted camera controls. I'm not kidding, basically. Like, normally with the camera, you would basically, like, go up with the, uh... If you press down, you would go up, but now if you press up, it just gets, lets you go up, basically. So, yeah. It's just, it's very weird. They also have, like, his voice clips are also a bit different, like, they're pitched differently. Yeah, that's what I found in the few changes with uh, Mario 64. So, like, it's not that, like, nearly as perfect. They inverted camera controls of this. Okay, so now we're gonna A red coin mission we're gonna do. So, I'm gonna do basically just grab all the A red coins and I'll show all the locations. So, there's one in the platform you can see. Platform over there, there's an A red coin. Uh, second one is on the top of the tower that you find. Um. I'm also gonna, by the way, do is a 100 coin mission too. By the way, 100 coins are very important to do. I'm also gonna do that as well so that we can uh, do 100 coins. Alright, I'm gonna just punch a little bit of these so that we can get a coin as well. Okay, so a little bit of extra patch we're gonna do. Alright, so we can do bomb flip. Ah! Come on, why can't I do bomb flip? I'm trying to do speed run. Whoa, what the heck is that bomb doing? Can I not bomb clip? <laughs> Am I not doing it right? Maybe I'm not reversing it, probably. So yeah, normally, like, a speed run trick you can do is bomb clip, where if you do a double jump, and if you try to grab the bomb before it explodes, you basically have reverse speed, basically. Your negative speed will be, like, walking it forward. So that's what actually happens. And then, like, you can clip into, like, the castles, like, this area. So, okay, I got all the coins in this area. By the way, they, they don't respawn every coin, they just have, uh, one coin every time. So. Uh, let's punch in this one. Punch in this two, get a coin on the side. Get over there, get that coin. Coins are floating in there! What are they doing? I'm trying to backboard jump. over this side. Oh yeah, by the way, in the later stages they have is a Koopa shell like this. Koopa would normally appear after, I think, stage 3? After stage 2, actually. So in stage 3, he would basically appear everything from free, stage 3 to 6. That's where he is. Just be very careful here. So, yeah. By the way, if you also try to knock him over, he can, uh, have a shell in it, and you can ride the shell in it, too. So, yeah. Also, knock him over. What is he doing? Just slide over there. He's just sliding in his DMs. True. Thank you for following on Twitch, man, on the stream. Oh, gosh. Water bombs are over there, crazy. Okay, is my follow buttons working, actually? I want to be very careful, because last time I did it, um, I got lagged, so I'm not sure why are my notifications not popping up. Let me pause the game one second. I need to see if my notifications are popping up. Do I have it enabled? I have the alert box enabled. Why is it not... Hold on. I'm just pausing the game one second. I need to save my notes. Okay, let's just make sure it doesn't crash like last time. Because the last time I did this, it like freaking crashed my system. I don't know why. Well, it didn't really crash. It just like it greased everything. So I'm going to just be careful. Um, Am I logged in on Twitch? I'm logged in on Twitch. I'm not sure why the notification's not popping up. Alright, let me try again. There we go. Yeah, it wasn't popping up. Alright, there we go. True, Chi, thank you for following. Alright, I just have to fix that pop-up. Okay. I don't know why I was not doing the last time when I did with the raid. Yeah, the raid the last time when I had the raid, didn't, it didn't pop up. Alright, but not at work this time, so... It didn't... Alright, thankfully it's not. 
broken this time. Oh yeah, you can also check your red coin count whenever you uh, grab a coin. So you can press start and this, you can see how many coins you grabbed before. Alright, so let's just go to the other area. So there's a red coin that chopped, so go by where the chop is. Red coin there, and then there's two red coins that you can also look at this area too. Um, if you go at the- oops. I need to go back at this area, sorry. Um, I want to chop it here too. Whoa, that was a trick. That was a cool one right there. Ah, come on! That's a cool trick. Chain chop, no, get out of here. Okay, two red coins also by the logs area. There's two of them right here. Accompanied by the Goopas, so just uh, get some coins over there. We're gonna also just grab every coin as well, too, while we're at it, so. But we just need 100 coins so that you can get this star. So, anyway, little trick of the logs, too. If you run around the logs uh, a little bit, basically, a few times, you get coins spawned in. So, you get like a few coins, like three coins, I would say. So yeah, a little trick. Actually, there's five. You have five coins that will spawn in by the log, so you have to have to do this, basically. I'm not grabbing the shell, so... I was gonna do it with the trick of the shell, but I wasn't gonna do that because I would lose momentum. Okay, I got the logs over this way. Doesn't... It doesn't work with, with uh, Chain Chomp as well, so there's no coins that spawn in with Chain Chomp. Let's grab up the bomb. Let's do the contact. I need the other one. Bombs, get out of here! I don't want the water ones. Ah! I have tried to do the bomb clip! Why do I think like I've tried to do bomb clip and it doesn't work? I, I don't know why. Okay. So the red coin we saw with the one up, that's where we need to go. So, yep. Uh, make sure we also get some points as well. Oh my god, it ricocheted me back. Wow. The magic. It's just so stupid, like it ricocheted me back. Um. Oh yeah, by the way, red coin up here as well. And I did not mean to do that, so. I gotta go a little bit slower here. Yo! Bomb over here. What the frick?! I've never seen that! What the frick?! I just glitched the grab on the bomb? What the- What?! I don't think I've ever seen that. Okay. I glitched the bomb grab with the when I grabbed the tree in it. Okay, that's a new one. Never in my life I've never seen that glitch. I don't think anyone's a see what the hell? That is pretty weird. <laughs> Okay, um, you should be, able, should be able to have, like, nine coins now, so... Also, red coin in the island, by the way. And the last remaining coins that you also get is in the cannon, too, which is going to be very annoying to get. I passed a tree! That's a tree, stupid. Okay. So now we're there we go. We got all the eight red coins now. So now we can do, basically, because we need about nine more coins until we get a hundred. So why not we'll do... To just do a little bit of this. Wing cap time. So basically, you can do little tricks. See, so if you go in the middle here, you basically get coins. This was like a really bad timing, basically. So yeah, I do need the trunk. So you basically need to do that for the mission as well. Um, I am gonna just release it. I missed a coin! I missed the store, actually. 
I grabbed it. Alright, All right, there we go. Star is ours. So now you got an additional power star. Collected Mario 100 coins. Mario gains more power from the castle. Do you want to save? Yes, I do. So, we're also going to now fly all the way back here and get the coin star. So yeah, there you go. Two extra stars. That's all we need. So, yeah, if you grab 100, you don't actually exit from the course. You basically just go around from it. So, you don't have to exit from the course automatically. It just automatically gives you the star. And now we got Mario Wings to the Sky, which, by the way, you need the um, wing cap for. So, that's what we're going to do, basically. So, we're going to get onto the castle over here. We're going to make sure we get up to the castle. And go to where we're going. Actually, I'm going to go back to the bomb and see if they have anything else. Do they have any dialogue? Let's see. No, they don't have any extra dialogue. I thought they did. For a second there. Whatever. I thought they have extra dialogue. I guess not. Let's just go back to the uh, area that we can find it. A little bit off. Yep, I am. Why am I always off with that area? Uh, come on! Camera! Hello? I thought I made it to the island, but I guess not. Okay, I'll just uh, traverse all the way back here. So, I'm gonna just be really careful here. It's like I'm speedrunning it, but I'm actually not. So, <laughs> don't ask me to speedrun it, I'm not that crazy. Try your here this time. There we go. Oh, wow, it's a perfect landing. Alright, so. You see these, uh, coins in between? Those are the secrets, uh, basically. So if you get five, you get a star. So you have to land in the middle like this. And okay. We got three that time. The last one's a bit tricky. You do have to be very careful, though. Alright, we got four. So, now I just need one more get. This could take some time, so you're gonna have to traverse it. It's a little, little tricky. Okay, I have to aim it, like, a little bit lower. It's not fast enough this time. Lower. Oh, come on! I thought I had that. There we go. Alright, so now we got the star. You can make it back over up here if you don't if you miss it the first time, but it will be very hard to control. And crown power. There we go. Alright, there we go. Mario Rings to the Sky, that is the fifth one. So I think now we should be able to get blue, I think. At the secret area. Blue where he was? I don't know. I think he was over there. Let's see. Oh yeah, I think Boo appears at every, uh, whenever you get 15 power stars, I think Boo, the big Boo actually appears. I think that's how it's supposed to work. I think. I, I don't know. So yeah. Basically now, Boo has apparently infested the backyard of the castle. So Bowser is not playing around with us, he's actually got more of his guards in here. That's what he calls his troops, by the way. So yeah, apparently, getting the booze has a coin in it, but we're gonna basically do, the big boo right here has a cage in it, basically. And that gives you to another world. It's very weird, I don't know why they did that. So there you go, course five, big boo's haunt. Go on a ghost hunt. So yeah, that's where boo was, right there. Come on in here. 
I got the first two tricks. So, yeah, we also got some new enemies over here. We got Blues and Scuttlebugs, by the way. They are in the sky of the castle. They only appear, I think they only appear to like in this area. And also, these boxes over here have a, uh, I think it's called like the, I don't know what they officially call, but they also uh, like sling you up for and they uh, deposit five points. Oh, GI, what's up, man? Alright. Can't stand up here because I have to really traverse what I'm doing. Alright. Let's go in the big blue. I'll go over and add it. So, yeah. Up in these doors over here, you'll have to find, um, whatever these. I can't even see far with the chat. I have to look over what's going on here. seeing that they patched up the be Yeah, I know. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. In this version of Japanese, they call it the Shindu version, they patched out BLJ, so you can't no longer do is, um, basically like backwards long jump all the way to the door, so you can't really do that. That's why I forgot to tell what happened. You can still do it with the DN method. What, what's the DN method? That's something I've never heard of. Like, GY, I have to explain, I'm not a speedrunner of this game, so I never wanted to speedrun this, but I don't know what the DM method is, basically, so I would never want to know what that is. Like, if you want me to, I, I don't know if I can teach it. Also, we have this running piano that is, like, very evil. <laughs> okay, dude, okay. Okay, dude. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Look forward to teach me stuff like that to children. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, okay. So, in this mission over here, you're supposed to, uh, you're supposed to actually punch the booze, basically. But you can do a little trick with the ground pound. You can actually ground pound them, and they work. So yeah, the the booze are actually hidden in this area. So we're supposed to find, I think, at least like three of them. I'm gonna jump over here. Ow! So yeah, there's like, I think... Oh, actually no, I think there's like five ghosts. Or, yeah, five ghosts in this area. So I have to find five ghosts and then... You're supposed to punch the ghost, and then the big boo will appear up here. So, the two others are in the back area, and you're gonna find them. So, we're gonna have to, um... So go over here. Also, Scuttlebugs. Scuttlebugs in the universe! Get out of here. Oh my god, I got a lot of coins in this. This one, this one had like 10 coins. So many coins in this area. Alright, booze got over here. So yeah, if you do stand in front of them, they're invisible, so you'll want to be very careful. You want to make sure you stand away from them and then do like a ground power trick if you want to. Or you can just go on the side and punch them. Boom, here comes the master of mischief, the Tower of Terror, the big boo. And yeah, he will appear in the front of the castle. So that is what you're going to find. So we're going to go up here. Also, a little one-up over at this area, by the way. There is a one-up here in this area that can get to it. If I can get to it, I don't know. I can't get to it. One-up up here, come on. Can I not even get up to this area? Oh my gosh. Uh Yeah, one up in this door. That's over here. So yeah, there you go. One up here. Alright, now the big boo. We have the big terror boss now. There he is. So yeah, low trick here. You can ground pound or do a dive. And there you go. It's pretty simple. 
So that's how they do a little spear and trick. Just ground pound it and yeah. Punch it, dive, and then ground pound. Either one of them. It works. And also, once you beat him now, the stairs will now appear, so now you can use that stairs for the later stages when you're gonna do them. Alright, so now we're gonna do some of them in the basement now, because we also just got in course 5, so... Why not we'll do is... Go to where the better stages are. Oh, we should not do that. Alright, let's go to... This area, so we're gonna have to find where that course will be. Oh yeah, a certain number of stars too, by the way. This bunny also shows up. I don't remember the official bunny's name, but um this bunny actually appears. So I think uh, I don't know how many stars is it, but um I think it's like 15 as well. This bunny appears in this area. So if you try to grab him, uh, he gets a star. So we need to really grab him, I think. Oh my god, I cannot get with this bunny. Come here, bunny. Oh my god, how am I trouble the bunny? Dude, bunny, come here. Dude, how am I having trouble with this bunny? This should not be that hard. Really? I grabbed him. Come on. There you go. So yeah. Unhand me, brute. What? Why are you calling me a brute? What? That shiny thing? Mine. It's mine. Finders, keepers, losers. Take it then. Gift from Bowser was now let be. I have a date. I can't be late for tea. <laughs> Tea time himself. What do you know? So yeah. Apparently it's a secret star over here. From this damn bunny. What are we trying to talk to him? Does he just... Can we really, like, clip him? <laughs> you can even do a clip with the bunny, too. It's also pretty funny. You, like, you can actually clip him with the bunny. And then, like, you do certain things with, with the door, basically. It's pretty weird, but it would just take a long time. It's not really worth to do the speed run like that. Alright, so, yeah, we did skip the stage, so now we're gonna go on to course 6. Hazy Maze Cades for a little bit. Swimmy Beast in the cavern. So, we're just gonna skip a little bit the stages, just get on with the new stages we're gonna show here. So, um, yeah. So, there's two pathways. This is, like, a kind of a maze, that's what it says, so you have a, a pathway, so the good old fork in the road, basically. Um. Oh, no. That, we're just not supposed to go in here. We're supposed to actually go in the store. Oh, yeah. The signs. I forgot the signs. I forgot the actual signs. I don't know why I read from the last one, but I'm gonna go read it. Both ways, fraught with danger. Watch your feet. Those... You can't do the long jump. Tisk tisk, make your way to the right. Work elevator, hazy maze, and then it shows you all the areas that you can go here, basically. So yeah, every sign has a map like that. I don't know why. Every map when you see has a sign. We'll see how the crouch down slide so... Oh, okay, it just tells you the long jump command. Just in case you're wondering, it just tells you about the long jump command. Yeah. Scuttle... Hey! Okay. Black hole. So that's in the area of the map they tell you. And yeah, that's all they tell you. So be careful the boulders. They can also hurt you, by the way. They also sometimes they target you. I don't know why, but they do. But we're supposed to go in this elevator right here. And another one up here. Yep, one up from the block. Oh, that's not supposed to work like that. Okay, well, we could just skip this entire area, but I don't know why I can't do the sliding trick like this. So, yeah, we're supposed to swim over there, there, and you'll find a little bit of whatever this thing is. I don't remember his name, but, um, it's a she. 
but yeah, you'll find this, which is apparently like Lapras, I like to call it Lapras from Pokemon, or something like that, so yeah. Here's the thing about how weird it is, whenever you, uh, it basically, it moves from Mario's angle, apparently, so whatever Mario's angle is like that, it apparently moves, so. What we're supposed to do is grab this star, but I really try to grab it. What the heck? I clipped over right from him. I clipped right to the bottom. Alright, supposed to make it over here. So I'm gonna just do a long jump. So yeah, you can do a long jump and then make it over up here. And there you go. Star's ours. Here we go. What's that green floating thing? What was that green floating thing at? What the heck? I saw something and I don't know what it was. And I am glitching the camera again. God damn it. Okay, let me just take a break from this damn webcam. I'm not doing this webcam crap anymore because this webcam is just so bad. I, I don't know why this webcam today is not gonna have my heel. I don't know why. This webcam can suck itself. I cannot figure out why this webcam does this to me all the time. I'm gonna have to see what is going on with this. See what's up with this webcam. Yeah, I don't know, it's just the webcam itself. Does it have an option or something? I don't know why it doesn't have the option to disable it. Um, alright, well, I'll try the webcam one more time. <sighs> oh my god, this webcam today, I swear this sucks ass. This webcam. this again, but I'm not gonna really... Alright, whatever. If it just don't stand up, then this webcam doesn't like. I don't know if it's just the lighting of it, pretty much. What is causing this crap to happen? I tried dropping to the 480, it still lags, like... I just don't know, like... I tried using 480, it still lags. I, I don't know what I can do. I'll try Furry. I'll just try Furry this time. I'm not gonna really bother with that. So this is like a 1080 webcam, so this is like C920. I just don't know, to be honest with you. I, I don't really know. 
Alright, we're not gonna bother with it. We'll just uh, go along with it, I suppose. Uh, camera! Camera, hello! Oh, hello, Ted. What are you doing over there? Hold on to your hat. If you lose it, you'll be injured easily. If you lose your cap, you'll have to find it in the course where you lost it. Oh boy, it's not looking good for Peach. It's a trap inside the walls. You have to help her. Do you know that these are enemies' worlds inside the walls? Bowser's troops are there. Oh, here, take this. I've been keeping it for you. Also, extra star, by the way. So yeah, Toads actually also drop extra stars, so sometimes they don't normally not appear like this one, but if you do gain more stars, they will appear and... So yeah, there you go. That's, um, how it works. <coughs> Alright, I'm gonna go on the course 7 now, which is a Lethal Lava Line. This one's actually not normally a harder one to really go over, but we got Boil the Big Bully. So yeah, this is a lava mission, apparently. So yeah, when you touch on lava, you apparently take damage a lot. So be very careful. Don't be a pushover. If anyone tries to shove you around, push back. It's one-on-one -on -one with a fiery finish for the loser. So yeah, touching on lava, Mario burns his ass in it. Just, that's it. Like, yeah, you lose, all, you lose so much health in this, so you have to be really careful. Even if you know what you're doing, you you have to be very careful. So. Just don't do that. Also, get this eyeball there, apparently. So, if you spin around the eyeball, it drops a blue coin. So, that's also important to be aware about. Oh, I just... I don't know what I'm doing with that. They also have... Uh, Bowser's... This one actually looks a lot more better, like... Bowser's is a bit blurry, but this one's... The HD version is, like, much more better, apparently. Alright, I'm gonna just gonna go a little bit to the left and not really care. Oh no, was, was there a sign? I need to see a sign. Also, they got a lot of one-ups in this area, too, by the way, so... There's a lot of, uh, one-ups that you can track here. I haven't seen the signs. Let me mess with them. Hop on the shiny shell and ride whenever you want to shred those enemies. So yeah, talking about these shells. So basically, if you ride on the shell, uh, you also gain speed within it as well. So yeah, be very important with that. Running around in circles makes some bad guys roll their eyes. Yeah, so talking about the eyeball trick, that's also a really good one. So that's a reminder you need to do that too. If you catch fire or fall into a pool of flames, you'll be hopping mad, don't lose your coals. So that's what I told you before earlier. So be very, very careful. And I'm also going to just take a wing cap as well, too. Wing cap helps a lot, so I'm going to be using the wing cap to help. Oh yeah, it also got some points in here, too, when you do it. So yeah, when you also jump, you, um... You jump a little bit more higher and you uh, reduce a lot of landing lag. So, we got the big bully now, so you can do basically is just punch him, or you can do ground pound trick, but I like to punch him basically, because it does help you. And yeah, there you go. Start at the very end. You don't even need to use the teleport pads, you can just do this. Here we go. And yeah, that's it. And okay, yeah, just so much webcam's done. Alright, I'm done with the webcam. I'm done with the webcam. It's the last time I'm doing this, because I freaking hate this webcam. I, I don't know why this webcam today is so... This sucks so ass. This sucks so ass, this webcam today. I, don't, I have no idea why. There has to be a way. Like, I have to figure out something what I can do to prevent this from lagging. I've tried it everything, and it's not working still. Oh well. Alright, we're gonna just go on with uh, Shifting Sandland. That next one's Course 8, which is Talons of the Big Bird. So I'm only gonna play like one stage each for each of them. And then we'll go back to the stages in order, basically. So, yeah, Sandy Valley. Just have to come over there, grab a coin, so you also see a block like that one. Uh, one up by the sand t tornadoes as well. So, if you do appear, in some areas of the tornado also will sometimes spawn a tornado like that and it can fling you over, so you want to be really careful. This stage is not a doozy, I'm going to tell you, so... 
There's two different properties with the sand, basically. If you stand on the sand, like, in this texture, it, apparently it sinks you down further, so you want to make sure you get up. If you sink down any further, you sink at the very end, so be very careful, because you can get sink in this level, so be very careful. Just, you know, you don't want to, like, lose a lot of time within it, basically. Also, I got Pokies as the new enemies right here, so if you touch the Pokies head, basically, or you kick them in the head, you get a blue coin. So, yeah. You can kick the heads, you can also punch the, uh, punch the, you know, whatever. If you punch the spike balls into it, but you're supposed to really do is punch the head, and you get a blue coin, basically. Also, you got these, uh, moving blocks, by the way. They also move around, and they try to uh, crush you, so you want to be very careful. I'm just gonna just do a little bit of a trick here. So, yeah. Normally, you'll have to find the big bird. Which is over here, by the way. He does sometimes follow you around, so you're supposed to actually knock him off with the start, and there you go. That's how you get it. Sometimes you have to be very careful, though, because he can also steal your hat. So you want to make sure you be very careful, because if you, if, you, if you don't have a hat and he steals it, then uh, you lose health points. Alright, and there we go. That, that's about, I think, everything done with this one. So the next area, the course we have is, uh, course 9. So I will go back upstairs and we'll get more power stars until we get to 30 stars now, which we'll need for red coins, which we'll need to get for the next area that we're going to go to, which is in our barrier, Bowser area. So, yes. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go right now and just go on with it. Alright. I'm going to go back up to Bomb on Battlefield, and we'll get some more get the last power star and that is the chain chomp area so the chain chomp area you saw that can be used for bomb clip will be over there so behind chain chomp's gate that is the area so yeah so all you have to do in this game is just pretty much go to where chain chomp is not like that go to where chain chomp is and just ground pound it that's all you need to do you can do a bomb clip as well but you don't really need to do that, so... Yeah, pretty easy. So it takes you, like, just about a few minutes to complete the stage. Just, like, about two minutes. And there you go. There's the star. So you're yeah, pretty easy to really go around with. Um... Also gonna have some time to really get some one-ups as well, so I'm also gonna just do that. But I'm not gonna do webcam anymore, because webcam sucks. I can't really use the webcam now because it still lags every time I use it, so I have to be very careful. Uh, I want to have one day without having this webcam lag on me. That, that's the only thing, I swear. This webcam today, I don't know why it is doing this now. I don't know if I just have an issue. I just don't know. Okay. I know it's not internet speed, so there has to be something that also is connecting it. I don't know what it is. Let's see if I can do anything else with the camera. I don't know. I'll try one more time, but if it's gonna just 
lag out of me. I, I don't know what I can do. Um, like, what else is there for me to look for? Whatever. Um, I'm just gonna go look for the other area. Don't like it me again. Display. Not it. I don't know what it is right now. It's affecting this. Oh, I need to see what's going on. I don't want to take too much time figuring out how to get this webcam working again without having to lag because Just click start then type display this one. Whatever. I'm not I'm not gonna bother with this crap. We'll just go along without the webcam for now. Plus you know I, I could try it again later, but I'm not gonna really take my damn time just focusing on one Pacific webcam that is me doing it. Ah okay. Let's just uh get along with this crap now. So, we'll just go around and do some one-ups now, because I think this is not nearly the end of Bomb Bomb Battlefield, so we're gonna just go ahead and, uh, yeah, do the, uh, the other missions now. If I can find any, um... Outside the castle, so there's like seven of them. Yeah. So I think there was also one more than show with the mushroom. Um you go on to the gray shape area on the uh, platform. I think it's this one. And then you climb up the tree. You should be able to find a uh, a one up like that. So yeah. 
That's the one I missed so far, so we got the one with the flower, and then we got the one with the other one. I don't remember what it's called, but yeah, so now we should get all the mushrooms in this area. And then underneath the platform, the back room. We'll get the red coin in there, and then the one with the flower. So yeah, free um, one up mushrooms in this area, of course. So now, that is all done. With all the power up mushrooms. So now, we fully finished now for Bomba Field. So now we're going to go on to Lumps Fortress. That's what we're going to do. Alright, to the top of the fortress. Stage two. I'm gonna see. Okay. So this one has four. Womp's well, Fortress has four power ups. So the one I showed you was in the pool over there, but there's actually a few more. So there will be a butterfly in this area, so the patches that you saw, all you have to do is just kick them. So just kick them, and just uh, hopefully you get all of them. And there should be a one-up with the pack with the uh, the mushrooms in it. So yeah, they're supposed to appear here. By the way, they don't respawn afterwards, so you have to be very, very lucky. But I didn't have time to get all of them, so unfortunately that never happened. But yeah, once you kick them, you will get a 1-up. And the next one being a... Flagpole we saw... platform that we also missed too, there is a uh, platform at the very top of the, at the castle. So, you saw the platform the eight, where the uh, red coin was, we're gonna basically go over there, and we will, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to go to the Womp's Fortress because there's also some extra things as well. Um, by the way, cannon over here. There's an extra cannon, just in case you're wondering. Break open the blue coin block by pounding the grandpa with the seal coins. But you have to hurry the coins or disappear to collect them. So yeah. The one I showed you in Peach's Castle, that has an instructional mania on how to get the, the coins in there. So basically, if you do grab them, they spawn in blue coins. So that will get you up to this area. So basically get up there. And there should be a one up over here. So if you just try to grab all the coins in this area, you get a one up. Or I was supposed to get them, but yeah, supposed to grab all four of the coins and you'll get a one up and them. Yeah, one up, if I can make it. There you go. One up in this side. Pretty easy. Now for the next one we're gonna show you is That's only appears in Chip Off Womp's Block. Oh actually no. You only get the star not you only get this one up not in stage one basically so there's also another hidden one up that you can also get as well so i'll show it to you where it is basically and i did not mean to do that sorry pd and i didn't mean to do that So yeah, we're 
I'm supposed to make it up to this fortress. Stop the fortress when I go over here, basically. So yeah, at this tower, you don't see anything, right? Well, there is. If you punch on one of the corner areas, from this area, you'll find a, a hidden one up, basically. And also a plank, too. You have to knock the plank with a kick, and there you go. But we're gonna basically get the star now at the other one, being the platform over there. So yeah, go up to the platform and get your star. Over just sitting right in the square. So there you go. All the hidden mushrooms I showed you in this area. The one with the butterflies, one with the strip hole, the one with ones you grab all the coins in it, and yeah, the hidden one that you get in the castle. So there you go. That's all the coins that you can get in this area. All the hidden one ups. Alright, shoot into the wild blue. Stay, of course, stay free. So that area is what we saw in the cannon area. So. That will appear, uh, the Bomo will appear in course freeze. So what we're gonna basically do, talk to the pink Bomo, which is by the cannon. And it says, hi, I prepare a cannon for you. And then he opens up this cannon every time. So yeah, that is what you're gonna need for the stage free. So you have to align this up correctly. So what you're gonna basically do is go on to this area right here, which is this brick. You're gonna aim at it and basically knock up where this brick is and just slide down the pole and there you go there's your star so yeah pretty easy and quick one as well you can also do a trick with uh Canalus as well you can also do a wall jump off of the by where the blue switch blue coin block area was and you'll also get a star like that you don't even need to do stage three like that way Alright, and we got another red coin mission to do, so why not we'll get also 100 coins as well. So yeah, pretty pretty fun area. So by the way guys, we're gonna also basically do, we're gonna 100% the game with everything as well. 100% Mario 64, um, you know, 100% everything, basically that's how we're gonna work with it. Um, let's see if I can get the kick. Oh no, I didn't get the other one, shit. I did not get the coin in the butterfly, so yeah, that's disappear. These butterflies don't respawn again, so... By the way, this is like the most coins that you can get in this stage, I think. Ironically, in Womp's Fortress is like, I think one of the most coins you can get in this area. Alright, so we got the first coin over there. You get another coin on top of the Womp. I think it's one of them. Top of the on um, one of the top of the womps of the uh, womps, the blue ones. Whenever you jump in them, you're gonna do a backflip up here, or you could just do a standing jump. And there you go, blue red point up there. There's gonna be two of them by PD Perona, one over here, and then the one by the bridge side. Whenever you go to it, it's a red point over there. And then there's another one over this side, blue coin. And we're just gonna go right into the plank. I'm also just gonna go down here, just get some more coins in the rear. So yeah, a lot of areas to find where the coins are. We're also gonna get this uh, area of red as well. Oops, slow up. Oh my, I did not mean to do that. Wow, then. That freaking sucked. I did not actually mean to do that. That was, uh, pretty torture. Well, 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 that was actually pretty torture myself. I don't know what I was doing there. Alright, now we're gonna have to do this, uh, entire crap all over again. Yeah, it's just so weird and messed up at the same time. The one? Damn it, it was not the one. I don't know what it was. I don't know if I have to punch all three of them. Wait, go back over here. Go back. There's a cage over this one. Whatever. I'm not 
going to bother. This coin's up there. Red coin up here too, by the way, because I missed that one. What the hell was that? Oh my god. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I, how did I... What? Okay, game. I cannot even get nothing today with this crap. Dude, slide my DMs in your ass. I thought I kicked all of them. It's so hard to kick all the butterflies. I don't know what to do with that one. Coins. What the heck are they doing? Let's just go with this area, I suppose. Oh, that almost happened to me. It was gonna happen to me. I'm like, okay, please don't do that again. How did they even do that with the trick? That's what I don't know. I'm just gonna make quick work of this. I'm not gonna, like, be a speedrun demon and just do this stuff all over again. Okay, let's go up here. Oh my god, I'm like speedrunning this. Speedrun pays off! I tell you guys, you get paid when you speedrun shit like this, you know? You know what I'm saying? Okay, another coin over there. Skip those two. Never mind. To just do that again, I suppose. Ow! Oh, come on. Make it all the way up here. Uh, did I line this up? Yep. Give me the one up. I didn't get it last time, so let me get it before. Yeah, that's how they do it, basically. I don't know... Like, how do you do the standing butt slide trick? Oh yeah, red coin over here, because I forgot to get this one. Also, these guys have this, like, weighty eyeballs. Oh. Why do these bricks have, like, lady eyeballs in it? That's so weird. They would normally not have that. This is, like, so cursed material. Okay. I don't need to do the tricks, so I already know how that works. We're gonna also get a, another one up as well, so that I'm mi not missing any more lives. And we can do a little trick up here too. You could also stand on the uh, Womp's head. The Womp's head, basically, and get more coins. You could get like five coins when you do that, and you could get like ten coins in total. So, but deciding the factor is that I'm not doing it because, they, like, you could get so many coins in this area. There's also bullet bills, by the way. They also have bullet bills that they can knock you out. Okay, and there we go, red coin. Alright, there we go. See? Simple as that. And I'm also just gonna get this one up over at it. And ta-da! Simple. And I don't need to read you sign. 
I know how it works. Alright, there we go. So now we're gonna continue to get more as well. So we're gonna make sure that this is also not a trick as well in the books. Alright, so now two more to go. Fall off the Cage Island. So, normally, there's nothing you could do with this Cage Island, right, to get to it. Except besides speed running the trick. There's basically called Owlist that you can do, where uh, you don't even need to use Bow. And speaking of Owls, hello there. Yes, there is a Howl hidden inside a tree. In daytime. It's very freaking weird. Why is it in daytime, early Wind's night? Should be sleeping. Hey, as long as I'm awake, why not take a short flight with me? So yeah, you're supposed to hold them with the jump button. So I want to be just very careful. Because if you do it that way, it doesn't work. So yeah, you're supposed to jump on the tree, on the L, hold them in, and drop on where the cage is. You have to predict this, so. And there you go. Simple as that. Takes you just about two minutes. Here we go. So yeah, it's an also a very, very easy stage to go about it, so. Alright. Owl's now done. Now we're gonna go on to the final course of the stage for stage six. Blast away the wall. This is also the adoption of Canalus, by the way. They call it in speedruns. In Mario 64. Where basically, Candle is how it works is that you have to angle Mario in like 23 degrees or something like that. And uh, you basically do, because for those of you who don't know, the developers of the game forgot to realize that when they were, um, when the uh, testers were looking at the beta of this game, basically, they noticed that there was a tiny piece of the star sticking out. So you could still be able to grab the star, but you couldn't like be able to see it, basically. So you have to do... Go at an angle like this, and just hope to pray that you get the star like that. It's very weird. You have to hug the wall and then get it. So, yeah. But normally the method of doing it is that if you don't got the cannon, then you should be doing this. So you're gonna do... Go aim at this corner piece right here, and just hit the corner piece, and there's the star right there. So yeah, pretty simple. And we're gonna just try to do it again. So you can come back here, you can come up this area if you don't want to use the cannon to do it again, but I'm gonna just do it again just to show you. And I'm gonna hope my angle is right. Not even close enough. I'm supposed to try it again, but I'm just gonna go up here anyway. You don't even need to use the cannon, you can just get up there or whatever you intended. So, I'm just gonna do. You can just go up here and just tiptoe your way. Just slide there to the star. There you go. Pretty simple trick. You don't even need to use the cannon to get up there. And there we go. All the stars for um Bomb Smurches. So now we're gonna go on to Dire Dara Docks, which is course number three. So we're gonna just speed it right along here. So yeah, nothing really like too robust or anything. So we're gonna have to uh, go over here now to three. Can the eel come out to play? Person number three. Okay. So normally that eel where he was, yeah, he appears here again basically. So now what he does is that he's gonna come out into his uh, original house. So what we're gonna do basically, we're gonna find where the eel is and we will um, basically just find where the eel is, which is under here. So normally he is down in his original house. All you have to do is just go close nearby him. Don't go too close or as he attacks you. And he's supposed to come up here and look around about. If you do it just about right, he will appear out here. And a star. That's it. Appears right out of his tail. So all you have to do is just grab it, but I can't really because I'm a, and I'm, I'm in a big risk right now, so I'm gonna just lose some health while I'm at it. 
So I have to just be real careful. So yeah, we're gonna just try doing it again. I'm supposed to grab his star, but I'm gonna just try to get it. Yeah, be very careful, because he can go back here, basically. It's so scary with his teeth, like, coming out right at you. So yeah, star over there. So, yes, star is done. Pretty easy simple stage. Just, just be very careful. You have to be fast enough, though. If you don't really have enough time. Alright, here we go. Treasure of the Ocean Cave. Horsery. So, again, we're gonna go back to the edge of the stage to go where the uh, Treasure of the Ocean Cage is. Also, little cannon over here. Bomo appears, I think, in uh, course three of this area. So just talk to him and you get a cannon here. Right over here is the cannon. So, yeah. So there are a few still one ups to get in this area, so that's why I'm going to be looking up this area to find. So, there are a few one ups here. Jolly Roger Bay has two one-ups, apparently. So, one cannon will be at the spikes. So you're gonna do aim at the spikes at the top. And you're just gonna grab onto the pole. Well, you're gonna try to grab on the pole. And you'll see basically a one-up up there. So that's what I'm gonna basically just do. Which I don't know if I'm gonna do it again, but I'm gonna like try to at least do it again, so. So yeah, you're supposed to be to the very top, and you'll grab at the very top of the pole, and you'll get a one up. You also get a uh, another cannon, by the way, so. So yeah, star up here, but I'm gonna just gonna go down here basically because we're supposed to do the attendant mission like this. Like, you can skip the uh, you can skip the stars, so you don't really have to do them in order all the time. But you can really skip them. Also, in one up over here. So if you just hit the center of the rings, you get a one up as well. So yeah, just only two one ups in this area basically. That's all you can pretty much find in this area. So now we're gonna just basically do is go to the castle side. Also, the switch block. Just only with oh six coins actually. Taking them all. Ah oh, no, I didn't get them all. Damn it. Whatever. See what I mean? The importance of getting the. Uh, you need all of them, by the way, for the uh, blue coin. For the uh, hundred coins, excuse me. So, now what we're gonna do is, um, so, this treasure chest has a, uh, hidden location, but apparently if you touch one of them incorrectly, it will shock you and it'll reset the entire pages, so don't be very careful of that. The middle one has a star in it, at the very back. And there you go, star. So, you're supposed to do this in order, so, top left and middle and then top excuse me top left right and then bottom that is how you get it all right so now we got three stars in total so now we can go to the bottom stairs bathroom bottom stairs area did you pound the two calms down didn't lose your hat did you if you did you have to stop the condor to get it back they say that bowser has sneaked out of the sea and into the underground have you finally conquered it Finally co conquered them. I don't know what this says. Well, whatever it said, I don't know what it freaking said. Yeah. 
or whatever. All right, so let's just um. I didn't see what that says. It's just a way to read it. All right, so now we got first stars. So now we can go to Bowser's area. So let's go ahead and just wreck him for a bit while we're at it. So yeah, we have plants, beets, 64, sunshine, and galaxy. Have to be all in the corner, so that's what normally I was doing. Granted, right star power, the door slowly opens. This one slowly opens, and not him opening the door. And also, this giant ripple effect. Hold it. Goes in the door! So we have Dire Dire Docks, course number 9, board Bowser's sub. The submarine, actually. And you just fall into water. Just water. So yeah, nothing in this area with water in it. It's just all it has. But we're supposed to basically do, just go underground. So normally there's a bunch of stuff we can do, actually, but we're not gonna really do that in this area. So what we're just gonna basically do is, um... Just swim to the course. Nothing really too robust or anything. So yeah, basically we're just supposed to swim up here and just get to the area where Bowser's supposed to be. So yeah, just basic old little swimming. You can do a little bit of a quick swim as well by just repeatedly tapping it. He also does a little bit of animation right there. I'm not sure why, but he does that. So normally that door would be blocked off over here where Bowser is supposed to be, but let's just make it up ground. So the way to get the Bowser's sub is you can sometimes make it up to the fin of like the tail of it, but it's a little bit tricky. But what you're supposed to do is the attendant way is supposed to actually like you could basically use like long jump and then make it all the way here. You don't even need to use the blocks, but this is the intended way to do it. Just use the blocks over there and just get the Bowser ship. So yeah, there you go. And that is what he appears in here. So there you go. Bowser's uh sub is there. So you go, board Bowser's sub. Alright, so now we got that star. Now Bowser appears in the uh, fire sea. So yeah, there's a bunch of one-ups you can get in here, basically. There's a bunch of one-ups you can get in this area, so there's like a total of like... Six of them. So the first one being right over there, the first stone that you pass when you uh, do with the platform. So normally with the platform we can do is just skip within it, but we can just pretty much do is skip them. You can do with long jumps to skip the area. You don't really need to use the platforms, but I like to do them because I'm risky. But you know, the the stage is not. The stage can be kind of a real one unless you're spear running this, which can also be very bad. So we got to see the star over there, so now we're gonna basically do is just make it all the way up here. Is there any tips? Oh yeah, by the way, red coins. Red coins, they also have a red coin area too. Okay, I don't need that, stop it. go. The coin over there, well, we don't even need the coin. Um... There's like a bunch of multiples. So yeah, they also have like six here, but some of them you get more of them when you uh, beat Bowser, basically. So it's pretty weird. I don't know why they did that. It's just instruction in IGN when I was looking them up, so. Um, basically go over here. We're gonna grab this mushroom. So yeah, hit mushroom up here. 
when you reach at the very top of the pole, you get a one-up. Also, one-up tricks as well. Also, you get two coins as well. Basically, two red coins, one by the hidden side that you get when you climb the elevator, and then the other one being the, um, when you land when there is a platform that is standing over there. So there would be an elevator here. You could also do a, a wall trick over here too. You could do it like a speed run strat, so you don't really have to climb up the entire elevator. You could just do a, a full wall climb with it as well. So next red coin would be up where the big bully is. That would be up here. And that's out of the way. I'm gonna just uh, go on with save six out of the way. So another one up over at this yellow block. So that's three of them right here. And yeah. Supposedly, I guess there's supposed to be more, but uh, I don't know where the other ones are. Just gonna avoid that one. Oh yeah, by the way, red coin, but I missed the red coin. Yeah, red coin is gonna be over here by the standing platform, which I forgot to actually get. Normally you miss this coin sometimes, but be very careful grabbing this one, because you'll need that at the end. Oh, made it up here, let's go. Here where the platforms rise. Get like a bunch of coins over here, you get 10 coins on the side. Also, red coin over here by the side platform, that's what you're gonna look for. So be very careful, you don't want to rush it because you're gonna hit the flames over this way. Okay, and we're gonna make it up here. Climb up these platforms over here and you'll get another one up. Another one up will be up here, basically. So yeah, there's four one-ups in this area. There's an extra two when you beat Bowser, as far as I know in this stage. But I'll probably show it to the very end, maybe. And I don't know if I have enough time to show it to the very end, but... There would normally be another one up in this area, so now you get another um, star. Alright, there we go. So now we're gonna just need to get the star now. We're just gonna do a wall kick. Or not with a wall kick, I don't want that to happen. Again, really. No, no, come on. Come up here. No, no. Ground pound to the next one. Alright, there we go. So you go in Star for Power. Oh, God. Standing Bridge is off. I only have one half. I only have one heart, so I can't really. Ugh. One risk taker. Do I want to go back and get the heart? Probably need to. I gotta just be very careful. Alright, let me go back to where the heart was. Um. Go to the star. Into the springboard we go. Normally you make it under there with the speedrun strat, so I wouldn't really bother. Pestering me again, are you Mario? Can you see that? I'm having a merry little time making mischief with my minions. Now return to the star. My troops in the walls need them. Also, he has a few additional attacks, by the way. He does this one that he can, uh... Tremble the platform. So... Careful of that one. Also, 
This is the most annoying thing he does. This, right here. He, it teleports you, basically. That is the most annoying thing he does, basically. He also spits fire, just like normal. And he has additional attack. Just wait for it. Not that attack, but he can actually make the platform go like this. So it's only he appears in the final stage. But if you spend far enough, he does. Nope, not that one, not that one. I need him to do the other attack. He's supposed to do the other trick, but I don't know like, if I'm far enough to do it. No, he needs to do the other trick. I want to see him do the other one. Yeah, that one right here. He basically runs at you. So that's the trick. Um, oh, I see the... Over there. Alright, there we go. Easy. So yeah, a few additional attacks. That's all he does. Could it be that I lost? The power of the stars have failed me this time. So this is a draw. Next time, I'll be in perfect condition. And if you want to see your precious princess come to the top of the tower, I'll be waiting. Yeah, sure, Bowser. And get your ass out of here. Alright, and there we go. So now we got that all done, basically. Whip some more stars as well. Alright, here we go. Let's begin right now with uh, 50 of their ones. I'm not sure what we're gonna do now, I think. So we may have to do is go with do the other flaws now. Yeah, we'll do the other flaw now. So yeah, I guess I'll show the additional one-ups that you can get, basically. I'm just gonna show it to you. We'll get back to uh, Bowser really quickly. So let's just go back to both Bowser and the Bowser and the Final C because there's actually a few additional one-ups that you can get in here. Um, you can just make it to it. So there will be a few additional one-ups near the end, which we'll get to it shortly. Let's see if we have to speed run a little bit of this here. I didn't do the full speed run where I just jump with the uh, ground pound within it, but I'm not gonna do that. Um so right here. Yep, right here. There's a few additional one-ups, so you can see. Normally this one-up will be here. Normally, if you beat Bowser, these one-ups would be appearing here, basically. So, yeah, just a little trick over there. And also, another one-up here. So, there will be two one-ups also in this platform. That's how you get them. So, yeah, we missed about three one-ups in this area. So, there you go. So there you go, a few additional one-ups, and now we're gonna go back to Bowser and the Fire Sea. And just get the other two additional one-ups that we also need to get in this area. Let's just go back to it right now. Um, do this level again. This is a good way to farm lives, basically, if you really want to do this. So yeah, additional one up right here, basically, by the stone brick. Normally you would not appear there. Okay, let's just get up to this area. Oh yeah, these sliding pools are a little bit more different. Basically, in the Shindu version, um, these sliding pools would appear differently, basically. Because you, uh, spawn a little bit more slower, but it's not really too bad. Let's go 
let's just do this very quickly. I'm not gonna really just bother rushing this. And the last two remaining one-ups up here. Another one-up. And there you go. That is the end of that. But I'm not going to. Actually, let's look at a few more. So I've been running a little bit low on the. Or. I guess I'll not get a few more! Whatever! I'm not gonna get a few more then. I was supposed to get the other one, but I'm not going to. Okay, whatever. Let's go with the flow. What the fuck? <laughs> Stop with that noise. Top of the cage is what I'm supposed to do. Bowser has any extra dialogue when you uh, beat him the first time. Does he have any extra dialogue? I don't think so. Oh, okay, he doesn't. He doesn't even have additional dialogue. Alright. Fair enough, then. Alright. Um, okay, so there we go. A few additional one-ups there. So there's extra two of them, basically. And yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna do is go from we go from doing this again, I suppose. All right. Let's begin by doing the other secret signs. We're gonna do is. Uh... What do we need to do now? Got uh three of them done. Yeah, let's do Jolly Roger Bray. We're gonna also do the additional cap, by the way, which is um basically the uh, metal cap area. I think we'll just do that basically. Metal cap, I think that's the best way to go about it. Elevate for A-Rig points. Okay, we're not gonna do that one, so we'll just go to the, uh, main. So yeah, the metal cap that is in this area, that's in the area where you found the first star, basically. So yeah, we're just gonna do this entire area again. Pronto. Okay, boulders, we get it. Chill out. Where is it? Oops. So, 
what would be without a metal cap or we're gonna look for today so over at that door you see up there that is where that door lies to that metal cap stage and we're gonna basically go ahead and get to that uh, whale again basically okay we're just gonna let the angle it so we need this to go with Mario To make it up there. Damn it! How dare you fail me, sir? Okay, just traverse it around. I don't need to get up there. Traverse! Okay, just like long jump all the way there, and there you go. So then lies that secret door. Now, another ripple area effect that what we saw from the original stage. And if we go inside of it, metal cap area. Once you step on the cap switch, the green box will become solid. When you turn your body to metal with the metal cap, you can walk underwater. Try it. So yeah, ability is you can walk underwater to it. And it also takes prone damage effects to you, basically. You don't take any damage as well, just like with the invisible cap. So, yeah. Also, we're gonna need this for the 8 red coins as well, too. Which they appear underwater. Also, secret one up over there, just, you know, punch that. And there you go. Now what we're just gonna do is... Let's on the switch. And there you go, all the metal caps are done. All of these switch palaces, basically. You just step on the metal cap switch, the metal cap makes Mario invisible. Now metal caps will pop out of all the green blocks you found. So now... We're gonna need them to use for the uh, red coins area. The rest of them do appear underwater, so we're gonna basically look for it. Also, it prones you from basically moving water momentum. That's also another thing. And there we go. Got all of them now. I didn't even mean to go back into the ripple effect, I wanted to show that off. Because we do need that for the extra stage we're going to need for Dire Dara Dox, so let's just go right to it. Actually, I didn't need to do that for the reset strat, so... Because one of them is required later on, so we'll basically show that. Alright, red coins on the ship afloat, so just like before, red coins... Eight of them. So we did saw three of them. We did saw a few of them by the ship, so we can also grab them in. Also, hello, Metal Cap. Where are you today? Just walk right in water. Don't need to do anything with this. It does help you traverse a little bit, so you don't need to really. There's a few of them by the clams. There's like three of them in the clams, basically. Just go near them. And yeah, there's where the clams are. Also, an additional uh, cap. There's an additional shell you can get as well. To make, just make sure I traverse them so I can also get the red points. Okay. There's three. And extra coins over by this gap right here. So, at this gap, I'm gonna just swim near them. This is gap near it to, between it, so it's not really gonna do anything. Okay. Those coins up there. And also additional coins over at the side, but we don't really need the block. Since I'm pretty good at this game, so I could just... I don't even need blocks. And we'll go near the red switch. By the way, be careful of this thing. This can actually hurt you. This poison box over here can hurt you. So be very, very careful. 
This can, like, actually, like, combo you into death. Okay. Now we have to go to the underside area because those are going to be the last remaining coins that we need for 30 of them. For the, uh... 100 coins. Also, another one by the clam. That's what we're going to need. Now, normally in this area, you're supposed to actually fast swim. You can you can basically do a fast swim glitch in this game that you can actually do, which can uh, make Mario swim into the cage of the star where it's supposed to be without the metal cap. You don't really need to use it in the original game, but now apparently I think this version also patched it out, so they had like an additional force feel to it basically. It's uh, yeah, pretty weird. Or I don't know if it still works, but. You know what I'm saying. Alright, um, now we can go up the top, and we're gonna need all 30 of the bread, of the blue points, basically, because we do need them for the switch. So, I just need to get them. Okay, a little nerve-wracking, but I got it. Yeah, there's a limited amount of coins that you can get in this area, so last remaining two will be over here. And a patch. Of points. So yeah, there you go. So you normally you get 102. It's very low limited to get these amount of points, but you do need them because it's important. Alright. So now we got all of the I don't think we got all of them. Wait, did we get all of them? Well, we got seven. Oof. Um, where's the last one? But the sand area? I don't remember where I got from the sand area. That's the last time I didn't know where it was. Um. Hmm. I grabbed them from the clams, didn't I? Yeah, there was a, basically there's four red coins of the clams. Seven on top. Oh right, okay, I know where that is. Alright. It's by the uh it's by the pointer that I got from last time, so I have to go grab that. Yep, it's over here. Just right by where this bomb is. And Blank. So yeah, located by where the ship is, actually. There's no, I don't think there's no shadow to it, but you'll see it. Ah, oh, I thought it was gonna long jump, but damn it. It's gonna be too risky and long jump everything. Oops. Go up here. Yeah, this time, this is like the only stage that doesn't even have a shadow patch star into it. It just has it right by the ship, so you can't really see it unless you get it. It's just, it's so weird and dumb. I, I don't know why. Okay. Blast into the stone pillar. So remember that one that we needed for the cannon? Yep. That's gonna be over there, apparently. Oh, wait, did I miss anything in here? Hmm, I think I missed something in here. Yeah, let's go grab that shell, basically. Just need to grab it with Y. Oh, come on! Are you freaking kidding me, dude? That's just so stupid. I had the shell in my hand, and then, like, the... The clam just like denied it in front of me. Okay, did I miss anything? I I refuse to talk from the other signs when I didn't talk from last time. Okay, yeah, the signs I didn't talk to last time. I don't know. 
keep out. This mean that means you, Arg. Anyone entering this cave without permission will meet certain disaster. It's the last time I didn't even go to this area. I don't know why. I didn't even went to this area. It's just over here. It's over here. Ahoy, matey! I've sung in treasure. Here I do. But the plug, the plunder you must open the treasures in the right order. What is that you say? I'll never tell the captain. Why does the captain even know my name? I dare you, captain. All right. I guess we'll just uh, go with it. All right. Let's try that again, basically. Blast in the sun pillar, alright. So this area, you just need to grab it. There's a trick you could do, basically, that is a, a little bit of a glitch that only works with the, uh, the POW box in it, basically. But it's banned from Super Mario 64 running. You would basically walk into the sun pillar, basically. And that's how you actually get up there. So you want to see this trick right here? Look at this. You could basically... Walk up the stone pillar using the D-pad. You could do this with the D-pad as well, with the uh, GameCube thing. And you would basically slide, and you could get up here. It's si simple as that. You don't really... It's kind of hard to do it, basically. You have to be very careful. I can never get this one. I actually got that first try. Wow. So yeah, it's basically a band trick in speedrunning that you normally won't use. So, yeah. Alright, um, oh yeah, we forgot to get the other one right now, basically. Alright, through the jet stream. So we're gonna just get the, get the cannon again. But this time, we're gonna basically use the metal cap, because we need this for the stage. So we can just go up here, by where the green cap is, so right in this area. Get the metal cap and just plunge your way to the water. And you're basically just gonna do drop all the way down. You're gonna basically just walk into the water. And then, oh yeah, you have to basically jump, but I didn't have time. Can I even do the fast one still? No. Okay, that's so stupid because I can't do fast trick. Ugh. So I have to make it all the way up here now. Cap again now. Let's go a little bit faster. Let's just try it. Two BOJ, two BOJs, two long jumps actually. And we're gonna just traverse in the water. We're supposed to jump up here and make it. Yeah. There you go. It's a little bit harder to do it because normally in this game you would basically fast swim. But now you can't, basically, in this version. I don't know why. They added, like, a force field to this. I don't know. Alright. So, there we go. Cool Roger. Bay is all done. So now we're gonna head on to Coco Mountain. Which is, uh, stage 4 over here, by the way, the, uh, snow area is. And that's where we're gonna go up here. Alright. Now we got all this stuff. Now we can actually do all this stuff. I'm really looking to love. Do, do, da, 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 da. Okay. So. Now for some. That's some mushroom ups. Because that's what we're going to look here today. So. A lot of mushrooms in Coco Mountain. You got six of them. So. The free one-up mushrooms we got was in the um, was in the one-up slide area that where you were. Ooh. 
So, we're just going to show you around, basically. get to the, uh, what is it now? Little Penguin Lost, so over here. Santa Claus isn't the only one who can go down the chimney. Come on in. Cammy proper tier. Why is that here? I don't know why. Warning, cold, cold, crevasse, crevasse? It's below. Also, little trick over here. There is a secret teleport. Yep. Secret teleport right here. These pictures in the bridge look like um, Yoshi's Island, apparently. They look like it, though. Alright, let's get to the uh, little penguin. So this little penguin right here is what you're supposed to grab him. And uh, you can do a pretty much a trick with it, basically. You can, you can slide all the way down and uh, you don't really need to do the entire thing. You just need to slide all the way down. And like in this bridge over here, you just have to slide all the way down. And you don't need to do the entire stage, that's it. And just go around, around to it. You can do the same thing with the slide. And a pluck. So yeah, skip the entire portion of it and there you go, there's your baby. All right, and that's where you're supposed to return to the baby penguin. Uh, baby penguin. Or I'm supposed to grab it, actually. Found my precious, precious baby. Where you been? How can I ever thank you, Mario? Why do you know my name? <laughs> Why do these guys try to know my name very well? I do have the star. Here, take it with my eternal gratitude. So, uh, there you go. Penguin captured. Also, be a little bit meany and just have the mother... Whatever. Yeah, apparently if you take it, the mother is apparently mad at you for apparently stealing his baby. So yeah. That's what happens. Okay. Now we got a uh, big penguin race that is going to be located near the chimney you went like last time. Also, what we're gonna do basically. So, in this one, you can't use the shortcut because that will qualify as cheating, just like with Koopa the Quick. So, now you need to do the long way around, basically. Hey, Mario Buddy, how's it going? Step right out. You look like a fast sling kind of guy. I know speed when I see you. Yes, siree. I'm the world champion Slutter, you know what I say? How about a race? I'm sure up to it. Alright, slides on his belly. You can actually do that as well, but I'm not gonna bother doing that. Um, there's a lot of coins you can actually get in this area, so you'll need that for the 100 coins. This slide is a little bit difficult, especially with that slope area, because sometimes you need to go to the right to make it. I don't know, rubber ran me. And finito. There you go. And below. I was gonna, <laughs> it's gonna crash right into me. Just be like deaf. You blew it! Broke my record. I believe you all. I knew you were the coolest. Now you've proven that you're also the fastest. Can't award your gold medal, but there, take the star instead. You'll earn it. Yay. Okay. Star over there in the middle. So, yeah. Here we go. So, yeah. Also, pretty quick as well. Alright, now we're gonna do the big property stages. You don't really need to use the chimney for a reason. So, first slide for eight coins. We're also gonna do the hundred coin trick as well. So, that we're also gonna do. Because we don't need to do this one. So, I'm gonna do the, the best way to get hundred coins is just go into the chimney and do the entire long half again. You don't need to do the slide again, basically. You could just skip right to the penguin and you don't need to do nothing about it. Skip right at it. 
Yep, you can do this a lot of times if you want to, but we're gonna do the best way to just get some coins. And I'm not gonna do the slide trick because that doesn't have coins, I have one ups in it, so I wanna get the most coins as possible. So just get at least a certain number of coins, you just need at least like 70, I would say. We'll use my best amount to get here. And just big little slide. There you go, see how quick that was? I got 80 coins out of it, and just, I need 20 more, so... It's pretty easy to get it, so... You just really need to do that. That one entire slide area, and there you go, you get a bunch of coins as well. Also, wrong mother. That's not my baby, she looks nothing like me, her parents must be worried sick. I don't know what it was, her parents were in there, I don't know. Okay, red coin, also by this area right here. When we went to the bridge, red coin. So now we're gonna do, go to the bridge area, because we're gonna go back up here and get some more coins as we're at it, so. Um... Also, they got this thing right here, which is these, I don't know what these are called, but they, uh, if you jump on their heads, basically, you start flying over to it. So, now we're gonna do, basically, just, you know, get some more coins. It's just near to the end, so we don't really need to bother. I was gonna jump it right to it! I don't get slid near it, but, yeah. And there we go, 100 coins. Mario gains more power from the castle. I think they had a different dialogue when they had with Bowser. I don't know. Okay, so we got additional one up here. To touch the very brick block, you can get a one up. And I missed it, actually. Wow. Um, and then another one up over here, by the way, um, if you touch, jump on the snowman head, and you can get a one up. I can time it. Or can I? I don't think this has a property, damn. No, I don't think it does. I think you're supposed to touch the head when you complete it, I don't know. Talk about out-of-body experiences, my body has melted away. How dare you run into any headhunters lady? I'm sure you use it in body. So, yeah. Supposedly missing body tour. Oh. Well, I guess that didn't work. Um. Well, then. I guess no red coins then. Well, we got the 100 coins, so at least that matters. Alright, well. We're gonna have to do this again now. I'm over here. Dude, you slide so much faster with your belly. I don't know why, but it do. Let's get that one up with ease. Yeah, normally there's another one up when you jump on the snowman's head, but I don't know why, but it does. Let's get this one up over here. I'm supposed to do that? Why can't I not even get it now? <sighs> can't even get the one up like this. Second. Oh man. Let's do the body slide again now. So many times I did the butter slide trick, it doesn't work. Mario! Get fat ass out of here! I need the red coin. I need my extra life, please. Yeah. 
One up. Okay, yeah. Red coin over this side. It's supposed to go over there. I'm not sure why I couldn't make it over there. Um. So we're gonna slide out of here. Slide on the ball. Or I was supposed to do the top pull. Okay, I might have missed that one. Actually, I need to really get that one. Actually, so I have no idea what I'm doing. Dude, I'm failing so many times. I I don't know why. Um, uh, let's just get the other coins, I, I don't know. It's supposed to be up here. Yeah, you're supposed to go on this middle platform, and you're supposed to really do. You'll find a, another one up here. And a red coin. That is what I was supposed to look for, but I couldn't remember the last time when I was doing it. So, I might have failed it. Again! Oh my god! Dude, I am sucking so bad at this now. Why can I not do this stage? It's like I keep failing a lot. Ugh. This is so stupid. Why do I keep failing at the stage and like rushing it? I was like, I'm doing it speedrun Ryza. I don't know. Okay. Just get on that stage. Please get on that stage. I don't want to hear it. I don't know what was doing it to stop for me from getting it. Uh, I just don't know what it was. Okay, do not fall again, please. Let me do my speedrun in peace. Not really my speedrun, but, uh... Speed the baby path? You could do- you could do a long jump with the snowman. Alright, another red coin over here. And, uh, yeah, we should be able to make it there. Uh, Mario! Don't do that. Okay? Don't dilly dally in the snow. Please don't do that. Bad Mario. Alright, and eight points. So that we need to get on top of this area. There's also a another coin block that you can also do. Oh yeah, forgot about his baby. She forgot about the ba baby. Baby! Hey! Okay, whatever. I don't even need to care. So normally we're supposed to make it up here. So what I'm gonna do is find that area where the blue coins are. If I can find the red coin, I don't know where that is. Yeah, near the bridge area, we're supposed to find it. Why did I freaking? Mm! Dude, I am rushing this. I was trying to BLJ. I was trying to long jump. I, I keep saying BLJ. I was trying to long jump over the corner and I didn't make it. Man, this sucks, man. I cannot even do this stage now. I have no idea why, but I can't. And I was not supposed to do that either. Uh. Dude, I was trying to land on it. Man, gosh. I am not... Okay, why am I struggling with this stage? How is it this hard for me to struggle on one stage that I cannot do? Thankfully, I'm just getting infinite lives, you know what I'm saying? Not just wasting them all. Okay, slow down, please. Slow down, down, down. Just get onto it. There we go. What's so hard about this damn stage? 
it should not be this hard. It shouldn't, like, take me this many tries to get one stage at a time. Hence the say, the drawing, but, you know. I have to do the intended strat, but I hate doing this. It's like, you have to- I have to BLJ it across- I have to long jump across of it. See my baby, she must be the precious baby in the whole wide world. It's just it's, she has my beak. Can't remember that I last left her. Stop from hearing ice cubes and I, oh I just don't know. So yeah, you've never talked to the penguin. That's what she says. Okay. Oh, I missed the other two, so I have to go back now and do this. No, go go to the bridge. Go to the bridge. Mario, go to the damn ass bridge. I'm not even gonna bother speedrunning it, so. You know you can launch up at that bridge, and I'm not going to. Um. A red coin over there. Yeah, red coin. Okay, I, I, I remember now. Has to be on top of this area. What? It's a visible wall. You got one up, damn it. Ah, made it. See my ass. There we go. Okay, let's hope I get this now. Let's hope I actually get it. I'm not gonna spear on that bridge area again, so. Because that thing is damn strict. I'm gonna be all jammed, so. Alright, now I have to do a long jump at the bridge, and there's your star. There's also a uh, coin block as well, so we can get to it. There's only just two of them you get up here, so yeah, it's pretty easy. Um, yeah, there you go. That took me for freaking forever, man. I have no idea why I struggled so much at the time on the stage. It was so damn annoying. Okay, um, I don't know if I want to continue doing more. I think we'll just finish, yeah, we'll finish the last two stars and then we'll end the stream today early. I'm just gonna hope my, uh, game does not crash again like last time because we got so many stars today, it's really unbearable. It's 63 lives, it's unbelievable. Alright, cool snowman's head. Basically, what we saw from the head right there, yeah, he now appears in this stage. Then you could hit it on my shoulders, you know, anyone in need of a good body, please, I'll follow you if you do. Yes, I do. So, yeah, supposed to have the uh, snowball be ahead of it, because you'll need that for the body. And I'm just supposed to make it over here. So, what you have to do for the snowman, you have to go behind the snowman's head, and there you go. It will knock the snowman up there, which you'll need. So yeah, there you go. I'm supposed to go right behind it. I'm gonna just try to get on top of his head, because the last time, normally there would be a one-up up here, so I'm gonna see if I can get to it. Maybe I can, but I don't know. Perfect, with a great new body. It's perhaps it's sure, sure to warm you up. It's just a stupid start. I don't know why. But it's normally there for a reason. Here we 
Okay, so now we just need one more stage to do, and that is the last one being in course six. We're gonna need that. Being a wall kicks, basically. Yep. The wall kicks mission will basically introduce you a function of wall kicks. It's pretty much the only time in the stage, like, they pretty much introduces you with wall kicks. That's all they do. So, what you just need to do is just go right to the end. Also, I'm gonna show you just a hidden one up because I didn't do it the last time, but I'm gonna do it again, basically. You're supposed to jump on the snowman's head, and you're supposed to make it up there. And, uh, yeah, you should get a new one up. Let's see if I can get it. I can't even, like, reach up to it. I don't know how I can make it up there. If I can make it, uh... I need to walk behind this? No. But I can. Or, I guess not. I guess we're not gonna focus on whatever the freaking mushroom is. Yeah, I said it. I don't know why. Um. Okay, so it's by the tree. I'm an idiot, basically. I thought it was on top of the snowman's head, but... Yeah, it's apparently by the tree that is the closest to him, so... You're supposed to do that, and then you get a star. So I'm gonna do that again, basically, because the last time I did it was bad. And... Tree to the closest, so I think it's this one over here. And grab onto it. There you go. Mushroom. Alright. Now we get that out of the way, so let's just... So that's supposed to go there! What we do need is the cannons to get to this area. So you're gonna do, just hit on this platform right here, and you're gonna see a bomb over here. So just backflip, and there's a bomb over here. Danger, strong gust, but the wind makes a comfy ride. Yeah, talking about the gust that updraft you. Hi, I'm very caring for you. Alright, let's see if we can make that cannon all the way up here. I'm not sure if I can, but let's try it. Prepare for blast off. Let's see if we can actually make this. Oh, I thought you can actually make that, damn it. Okay, I thought you can actually do that. I thought long jumping works, but I think you could skip the area. Alright. So now we got the cannon open, and we'll go to the bottom of the stage. So, fastest way to do it, hit on this platform that has an invisible barrier. And you're supposed to just slide all the way in there. You don't really need to do nothing. And just go to where the cannon is. Because you're going to need that for the mission. And you're just going to do land right where this tree is, so on the very, like, top, I would say. Or we definitely need to hit it higher. Okay, that's not the right way to do it, so we're just gonna go back and do it again now. Um... Oops. Go back to the area. Can I make it up here? Aha! Yes, I can! Speedrun tricks works in my favor. Alright, so let's try it again now. Um, uh, I'm gonna say, like, right on this area. So go on top of this area, just focus on the gray area right there, and then you'll make it. And be very careful, though, because these guys can really spoil you. So you can just basically do is just dive right to it, and it works. You can just kick them right in the curve. Let's see what the sign says. Get a good run off the slope. You remember the long jump? Run, press, seal, then jump. Yep, that's how you do it. These guys can also block you, by the way, so you can just do a dive and just make it. 
And there's this cannon that makes you all the way back here, so... Alright. Remember that tricky wall kick jump? It's a technique you'll have to master in order to reach high places. Use the wall to jump, tilt the left direction to gain momentum. Practice makes perfect. So yeah, this is the only game that like makes you be aware of the wall trick kick, basically. So you're gonna have to do do a triple jump and then make it up here. And then you can do a long jump and then you can make it up here, basically like that. So yeah, there you go. That's how you do the wall kick. You have to do a fully triple jump off that bank and just jump over there. And then do a long jump if you want to to make it to the star. So yeah, that's how I do it. This is how I actually do it, basically. So, the time right now is 8.08. So, I've been streaming this for kind of 5 hours. I mean, I could probably go for at 9, because normally that would be the time I end. But, I'm probably going to have to do some prepare preparation for work at the very least. So, yeah, we'll still do more of this next time. I, I really hope. There's so much you could do in this game, so we'll definitely do our very best to... You know, come back and do our lessons, basically, because, yeah, we'll just end the stream early for today, everybody. So, alright, that will be it for Super Mario 3D All-Stars on the Nintendo Switch for, for both all three of the platforms. So, that will be it for today's video, everybody, for the live stream. So, normally I wasn't expecting it to really be this bad, but man, we, we pretty much got a pretty good progress going over here, so we'll be uh, doing more of this game still at the very least, so we'll come back for a part two of Super Mario 64, so we'll continue going up forward, and yeah, pretty much working our way front to the castle. That is how we're going to pretty much work up to it. So, uh, yeah, remember guys, if you're new to the stream and you want to keep you up with all the future updates on the channel, you guys can also check me out live streaming on Twitch. I'm going to be live streaming on Twitch there, basically. And if you guys are new to the channel and want to keep you up with all the future updates, you know, make sure to go, guys, check out my YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel down below in the Twitch live streams if you want to check it out. Um... So yeah, make sure to guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell for more, and if you guys want to check me out with all the future updates, uh, you can also check me out on my other social media profiles whenever I upload on YouTube and all that sorts from live streams everywhere. Okay, so that will be it for Free All Stars. So join me back this week once again on Friday. We'll be back to doing Fall Guys for for one more time for season one because normally it's not the last time I'm doing this. But here's the thing, though: we still got to do. In the next week of Tuesday will be season two of Fall Guys. We are going to be doing another live stream of season one again on October 2nd, which is on Friday. So that is what we're going to be doing for that walkthrough. We'll be doing just a bit of a grinding before we'll get to the... Because they did add some new stuff, by the way, that I kind of wanted to show, but... Normally I would think it was there, but I think I live streamed it. I don't remember if I live streamed it on the third day, but basically. So yeah, that we'll have with media requests all over again on Twitch. So we'll be doing it uh, another time. So if you guys want to play with me on Fall Guys, make sure to have a uh, PlayStation 4 account or Steam. I'm going to be playing this on the PS4, so make sure to have a PlayStation 4 if you do. Because if you do want to play with me, then I'll have to add you. Alright guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you back Friday this week for fall guys. Thank you and have a good night. Just the rest of the day. Stay safe.